Peace, love, and light. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for my beloved Scorpios. I will all as well in bliss. I will you all had a beautiful Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. I will your holy day was blessed with your family and that you enjoyed your day off to Wusa, kick your feet up, watch some movies, eat some good food, and receive gifts. What's better than that? <laughs> but, um... All is blissed on my side. I had a beautiful day. And I said, you know what? I want to gift you all with another reading um, because I appreciate, you know, the love that you all show. And, um, you know, I want to keep it in rotation. This this reading will be like that gift that you forgot was under the tree, you know, that you overlooked. And so that's what this is going to be for you all. But um, I will all is blissed with you all. For anyone who may be new, welcome. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I'm empathic and I am also clairaudient um, and intuitive. So I do incorporate music into my readings and they tend to blend very beautifully with the messages uh, from Tarot. I am also uh, giving you a timeless reading. So that means whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video, that was the divine timing intended for you all to do so. Uh, before we go any further, I would like to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, Archangels, ancestors, our ascended masters, animal totems, earth, mother, guy, universe, source, the divine, most high, God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and the discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number synchronicity, and vibration of my cards for Scorpios. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So right now, what do we have playing? We got Mel LaRoe. This is called Searching for My Soul. Um, and I'm hearing, I'm hearing before I even finished saying the sentence, searching for my soul. I heard the divine say, this is your person. This is the person either you're attracting to you. This could be like a past life love. This could be someone from your past that you are familiar with. This could be someone you could have grown up with. Um, this could be, you know, someone that's coming in. I feel this person definitely is someone uh, with whom could be potentially be like your soulmate. Uh, it's 4.09 on the clock, and that's 13. Um, so I do feel like this could be someone that is like a twin flame. But this person is searching for their soul. They're going through the dark night of the soul journey that you've just completed, Scorpio. Some of you all are still wrapping it up, wrapping up that cycle, that karmic cycle. But the majority of my Scorpios have already finished or completed their dark night of the soul journey. And now they're in a space where they're rebuilding, um, you know, and they're reaping the rewards of their hard work and efforts. Uh, but I feel someone is searching for their soul. So they are going through like a dark night of the soul journey. Um, but I do feel like they are seeking clarity, like they're um, see, trying to find a way out. If they're in a relationship or in a connection, because 13, as I said, uh, it's 409. Um, so that 13 could represent like a death. Um, you know, they're going through some sort of ending. Uh, maybe they've lost a loved one or maybe a loved one, um, you know, someone that they were in a relationship with, uh, may have, um, you know, maybe they've made the decision, the two of them, to kind of separate um, because something may have happened that was unexpected, like some sort of upheaval, an emotional one. Um, and it was a painful, painful uh, revelation. But I feel like this person is now kind of like picking up the pieces, um, you know, and, and restructuring, um, revamping, regrouping, rebuilding. Um, and more importantly, uh, reconnecting uh, to themselves because maybe they got lost within that relationship. So they're searching for their soul. So let's go ahead and see what's coming in, going out, going on. So we got the sun card on the bottom of the deck. Uh, this deck is called um, the, what is this called? Oh my God. The Angels and Ancestors Oracle Deck. 
So this is a beautiful deck. Um, and I received this, um, I think I, I gifted myself with this around my solar return. So this is the sun card. And with searching for my soul, that's that's someone who's seeking clarity. The sun represents the truth. The sun represents illumination, healing, vitality, uh, rejuvenation, optimism, happiness, joy, wish fulfillment, abundance. So I do feel like for you all, Scorpios, you're like really um, living in a lap of luxury right now, even if it's not material um, luxury. It's just spiritually, you feel great. Like emotionally, you feel great. You feel abundant. You feel fruitful. You feel happy. And it's because you all have come out of that dark night of the soul unscathed. It's like you, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, I feel like a lot of y'all got your groove back. Uh, just like Stella, <laughs> because we got John A here saying groove thing. So I feel like a lot of y'all got your groove back. You're feeling yourselves. Um, you're happier now. I just feel a sense of happiness, a sense of peace, you know, and that's a beautiful feeling. So let's see what we, got, what we have on the split. So we have medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. So you all are absolutely psychics, intuitives. I get real high priestess energy from this. So it's like y'all don't do anything unless it sits right in your spirit because you all are too intuitive to ignore or ig the ignorance, to ig the negativity, to ig the flat out jealousy, envy, hatred that you may feel. It's like your, your force field is too strong for mofos. It's like you can see you know, people's intentions. You could see that they don't really rock with you like that, but they just pretend very well. And I feel like you see through all of the illusion. It's like, this is clarity. This is strength. This is beauty. This is like being someone who can be, um, you know, that very, uh, that matriarch, you know, you know how to, to, uh, create potions and elixirs to heal those around you. And as water signs, you're naturally very loving, very nurturing and very caring of the individuals around you. And so for medicine mother to come out is showing just how, um, you know, how loving and attentive you all have been, uh, not only to those around you, but I feel also to yourselves in a sense, this is also saying like you have healed yourselves. And because of that, you will now be happy. You will now be elated. You know, this is a beautiful energy coming out on a split. So yeah, you got your groove back. All right. You know, some of y'all discovered what your soul mission life's purpose was, you know, and you're on that path. Now, many of you are, you know, as I always say, I've been saying this for the past year, y'all are light workers, healers, shamans, you know, you all are in the craft, you're medicine women, um, medicine men, herbal men, you know, back in the days, the medicine man and medicine woman, my grandmother used to tell me stories. My great grandmother, uh, Lydia was a medicine woman. My mother, my grandmother shared so many stories with me about her just going out into, you know, into the little woodsy areas and, um, in South Carolina. And she would just pick these plants. She knew which plants would heal. She would make teas and she would make, you know, um, you know, um, baths and, you know, drinks and things of that nature to flush the system. So it was very beautiful to hear these wonderful stories about my great, my great grandmother. So some of you all have that same history. Um, you may have that in your bloodline as well, where you are just natural healers. Maybe some of you all are studied, studying like, um, you know, studying herbology, uh, maybe you're herbalists, uh, maybe you all have a green thumb where you're planting, you know, your own fruits and vegetables, or you're planting certain herbs, you know, to use in, you know, your magic spells or in your, um, own, um, you know, in your own food, uh, to, you know, heal your family. So, you know, maybe people in your family come to you for, you know, those little, um, remedies, you know, so let's go ahead, tap and tune in. Let's see what we got. So, um, yeah, but that's dope. I love that energy, you know. So we have right now Alanis Morissette, and this is called You Oughta Know. Um, so here we have Sage, and it says, be devoted and committed. 
So you all are sages. And I feel like the divine is saying you ought to know by now, you know, what your purpose is, what your life's mission is, because everything you've been through was preparing you for this. It's like y'all are preparing to truly like live your, your, your truth. You know, there's no more hiding from this, you know, with this sage, look what he's, what he's using. He has a little, uh, peacock feather which represents abundance and opulence, but look what he's drawing on a leaf. And I was just expounding on, you know, herbologists and going into the forest and picking certain herbs. And with this song, You Oughta Know, I feel like the divine is saying, you ought to know that for some of y'all, you know, that that's your actual, uh, you know, purpose here is to heal. You know, the sage is very wise. So, you know, be devoted and committed to your life's purpose. Because as we saw in that former reading, some of y'all, you're going to have a very successful spiritual career. You know, there is absolutely, um, there's absolute, no, there's no denying um, the fact that you all are highly, highly spiritual. 1111, as I just said that. And that you all are have built your spiritual strength through enduring, uh, you know, some of those um, painful, traumatic um, encounters. But I feel your bravery and your strength rings through. But you all have evolved to this. This is the epitome of spiritual strength. And you ought to know by now who you are. You know, in my comment section, you all leave so much love and I feel so guilty sometimes because I cannot respond to everyone. And so I have to at least leave a heart and a check, but I do try to chime in and connect with you all when I can. Um, but what I would love for you to do is not speak in a spirit of lack. Don't speak about what you can't do. You know, that's a part of, you know, um, spells, like you're casting spells on yourself. And it was just 12, 12 when I said that. So that's three, three, which is six. So in order for you all to find balance, because a lot of you all are speaking, um, spells on yourselves by talking about what you can't do. Oh, I can't, I hope I get a That is like such a lack, um, type of, um, like that's a lack perspective and mindset and mind state. It's like, you have to be in that spirit of knowing, you know what I'm saying? You got to know who you are. I am a master manifester and I am successful. You can't say, I hope I get, you know, I, I get a new job after I say, look, Scorpios, y'all about to become millionaires. You got to own that, claim that, affirm that. You don't question that. That's the last thing you do. So yeah, you, you might not be the one I'm talking to. If you got to, if, if you're questioning this, this should be a knowing, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I went into that diatribe, but this should, there should be a knowing with this. Know who you are. You ought to know by now. You know what I'm talking about? You ought to know. You're a sage. You're a healer. Shaman light worker. I've been saying this ish for years. Like for a whole year. Like the whole year I've been saying this. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. I can't play. I, I, I'm about to show you this and then I'm going to pass out of my chair. <laughs> Spirit be like, yup, yup. Like they, they be like, look, it says seer. See beyond the current situation. You all are in the practice. You are, you, but you ought to know it by now. Like some of y'all, you have these gifts that y'all ain't even, you ain't even utilizing, you know? Some of y'all could see into the future. Some of y'all, y'all had that gift since birth, since a baby. You can remember, some of y'all can remember back when you was one year old, two year old. And that is like, that's rare. It's very rare to find someone that can go back that far and, and they're in their 20s, 30s, 40s. But for some of you, you can see back. Some of y'all can see when you was in the womb looking out, listening. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all have those abilities. Your first eye is powerful. You're psychics. And some of you also own crystal balls. If you don't, you should get one because some of you are scryers. You know what I'm saying? I have um, my soul sister, um, Kiana. This is for you. Purchase yourself a, um, a crystal ball. This is coming to me. You're, you immediately came to me. And then we have prodigy, no religion. So look at that with no religion. Some of y'all, you, 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 you may need to 
um, start, I don't want to say question um, what it is you're practicing, but you may need to do more, you know, further investigation. You may need to broaden your horizons um, when it comes to spirituality, like open yourselves up a little more. Maybe some of you all are closed off from certain things. So say for instance, because, um, you know, a lot of people will be, you know, Christians attending church and then they have, you know, that kind of like that awakening where they denounce, um, you know, the church and all of that. And then they turn into so-called new world or new, um, yeah, the new world information or esoteric or occult information. Um, but I feel like everything, um, there's knowledge in everything. There's wisdom in everything. And so you have to know how to, um, Take what resonates and leave the rest. Just like I say, eat the fish, spit out the bones. You don't, because the Bible is a very metaphysical Bible. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, people think that some of these things occurred in real time. Like, and I mean, I, I am not here to judge. If you feel that way, then, you know, hey, you may know something I don't. Um, but I do feel like it's, it's definitely like a book which speaks to, um, will, your will, you know, your, your power, your ability to, um, to change circumstance, you know what I'm saying? Circumstances, um, because there is, there's possibilities in everything. There's infinite possibilities. So the Bible provides that it's like a basic instruction before leaving earth. But so with no religion for some of you all, maybe you don't have a religion. Maybe you're atheists and you don't believe in God. And maybe the divine is telling you that, you know, there's deep, you ought to know, you know, there should be some sort of pull or some sort of tug on, you know, on you, your, your spirit, you know, about the direction you need to go in or what you need to practice. But I feel like the divine is telling you, you are absolutely a seer. And even if there's people around you who are saying like, you don't have no religion because you grew up in a churchified you know, family and you kind of turn away from that. Maybe some of y'all are being, you know, blackballed. Maybe y'all are like being, um, you know, misunderstood or Mr. Understood, or maybe they're just trying to like outcast you because you're not following, uh, their blueprint. And so you're saying, you're just like, I'm not following no, no religion. I'm, I'm on my spirituality path and journey. And that's cool too. Um, but I don't feel like you have to appease anyone, one or any, situation anymore. You got to do what's best for you. Um, so with this seer, you all are in fact, uh, seers, you are magicians, like you are psychics, clairaudience, you're highly intuitive. So we got the moon card here. So this is showing me here. And especially with take note of intuitive messages. And that's what the divine is wanting you to do is because you ought to know by now. So maybe they're sending you some sort of uh, divine interventions, you know, because he found this peacock feather. And now he is it looks like he is uh, scrying with this leaf or, you know, feeling the energy from the peacock feather. Uh, he looks like he could be writing on this leaf, to be honest with you. And so it's like, you know, with this take note, that's literally what he's doing there is he's taking note and he's doing so on this um, leaf that has fallen from the tree. So this is about, you know, following your own intuition. Um, also following, you know, your dream activities, like maybe creating a journal, a dream journal. Um, I definitely feel like because the song that's playing right now is, is Onyx, um, shifty. And I feel like you, you, you know, you, there's a lot of sussy energy around Scorpios. And we know that, you know, when, when the clock starts ticking <laughs> and it's about to, you know, the buzz is about to ring, uh, people tend to start like just, you know, they, they start getting crazy. You ever watch a basketball game and in 1919, 1010. So this is definitely, this ending is, 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 in, it's inevitable. It's inevitable. Excuse me. Um, but you ever watch a basketball game and it's like the whole game, everybody, like the, the losing team 
It's just like lack of days ago. They barely take your shots. And then it'd be like the last four minutes of the game, everybody's going super hard, jumping into the freaking bleaches, trying to block balls. I'm like, where was that energy? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? An hour ago, you could have won this. So it's like the divine is telling you something here. It's like with this shifty energy and onyx being black, onyx represents the color black. That's like dark matter. So with this shifty, I feel like there's a shift. There's something shifting. And remember, searching for my soul. So someone may be, you know, kind of like, I feel you could be helping someone come out of some sort of dark night of the soul journey. It's almost as if like the divine said, you ought to know who you are. So when you're, when you are the divine feminine or divine masculine, the, the sage who is a, you know, they keep ancient where they're the keepers of ancient wisdom and knowledge. And so when you have somebody, because remember, I felt like you had a twin flame coming in because it was 409 when I started the reason and uh, the reading. And with this moon energy, this is like, you know, hidden, something's hidden. You know what I'm saying? But intuitively you're picking up on it, but can't put your finger quite on it. But with here, it's almost as if the person you're assisting is being instructed. You know, they're being instructed to, you know, trust their intuition. Something is going to take place. Maybe there's a shift that needs to take place. Maybe within their own consciousness, you know, maybe within their own mind, they need to change something because there's deep emotion, you know, and this can manifest. But when someone's fighting something, which is why the divine is saying, take note of intuitive messages, they're receiving some messages that you may very well be sending to them, you know, because you are the seer, Scorpio, you have the ability, um, you know, to, to, you know, set your intention here. And so we have Hunter. It says, track down your fears and desires. So I feel like this is what your person is going through. You know, they're, they're afraid. They're keeping secrets. They're hiding. This is like, you know, being very um, proud and egotistical, not wanting to take, you know, wanting them take initiative. Um, but deep down, they're yearning for your love because we got the gap band here playing. And so maybe there's a gap, you know, between you, meaning there's some sort of space, distance, um, maybe even an age gap for, uh, you know, for some of you all. Um, but this is the name of the song is called yearning for your love. So I do feel somebody's definitely hiding the fact that they feel these emotions towards you. And I feel like you, because you've healed yourself 22, 22. So that's 44. So that right there tells me like the angels are conspiring behind the scenes to bring this union into fruition. And I also feel with the 44, I feel that there's, um, this is like a blessed, you know, a blissed union. You know, this is a, a, a um, a divine counterpart. And I feel like you're, you're kind of assisting them out of their dark night of the soul because you know that they're searching for their soul. And so the moon is like, you know, you got to take them deep dives. You know, the moon reflects water. It's very, uh, you know, it's reflective, you know what I'm saying? Just like water, I should say. And so this is like somebody doing those deep dives, that internal, you know, eternal self audits, uh, tr you know, kind of like searching to see, you know, what it is they feel and what they realize. And it's damn, I'm yearning for my Scorpio's love. I'm yearning for their time. I'm hearing somebody just wants to lay eyes on you, but there is this gap, this distance, this separation, this lack of communication. And it's because somebody is afraid, you know, maybe they're afraid of rejection. Maybe they did some things to you. If you are uh, familiar with who this may be, um, even if you're not familiar with who this may be, even if this is a past life situation, maybe there was some, something holding this person back, you know, and they was afraid, they was fearful. Um, but I do see that this person is wanting to shoot their shot because they're carrying a bow and arrow and they are watching you and they know in order to, um, in order to, to rectify the situation, I feel like they know they got to stop being stubborn. And, and this ram, it's almost like they're wearing this, a ram's head. Cause this looks very like the rams, um, you know, the rams, um, what do you call that? The ram, um. Horns? Is that what they are? Ram horns? But, I, you know, they have to be headstrong. You know what I'm saying? They have to get out of their head and they have to stop, you know, thinking that, you know, the situation 
is going to be something that doesn't work out in their favor. Like they got to trust the process. Maybe they kept secrets. Maybe there were things that was exposed or maybe there's things they need to share with you or reveal to you in order to, um, you know, rectify, like I said, the situation. Who knows? But we shall see. So Divine Spirit, what additional messages you have for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you so much. Bottom of the deck, we have spring. See your seeds grow. So yeah, you know, this person needs to take a leap of faith. And it's like when you plant in good faith, when you sow in good faith, I should say, then you will reap what you sow. So this person first needs to take a leap of faith because this could lead to something very fertile. You know, this can grow because they do love you. They yearning for your love. You know, they're yearning for you and you're yearning for someone, you're longing. It's almost like an ache and a pain to not be in that person's presence. And this is a part of what they're hiding from you. This is why the divine was telling they ass, look, you got to get out of that fear mindset. Wasn't I just expounding on the commenters in, the, in, in my own comment section? Like, yo, the fear shouldn't even be a part of, you know, your, your conversation. You know what I'm saying? Because that's nothing more than false expectations appearing real. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be more um, self-aware and confident in your abilities. Because we these cards, we, we don't just pull these cards just to get up here and talk. Like, we're, we're really empowering and encouraging you to know who you are. You know, because we all have been where you are. We are where you are. We're all one and the same. So it's like, that's why the divine is like, you ought to know by now. You know what I'm saying? It's been a whole year. We about to close the year. If you ain't figure it out, you might have to do this cycle all over again. Because this is why I feel you're, you're instrumental in helping this person. Because I feel like they are still struggling and they're fearful. And I feel like they have, honestly, um, they have difficulty communicating and expressing themselves. You know, they're not, they're not used to opening up their throat chakra or utilizing their throat chakra. But I do feel like maybe in the springtime, something will have, would have sprung, you know, spring is to me like a new year, you know, cause that's when everything gets to blossoming and growing again. You get to have the pollen tearing up the goddamn car. You got to freaking, you know, wash your car every other day. <laughs> but I love the process cause it just shows you that life, you know, life is just, you know, Life is life. Like life is literally, you know, all around you. And so with this, I feel there's also, you know, a sense of like abundance and prosperity because rabbits denote that. Uh, but this also could be kind of like um, hinting at the fact some of you all may be, uh, you know, become pregnant, you know, because the rabbits represent per fertility. So, you know, I do feel like, you know, there's some things that uh, can blossom. Uh, now we have love song playing by Rihanna featuring um future so this is definitely a twin flame situation i wasn't trying to make it that but it is it just is so look at the arrow i was just picking up on the arrow intuitively on that former card and now we have an arrow and it says surrounding yourself with protective energy so you all are very much like i said um highly intuitive very aware you're self-aware but you're also very sensitive to energy and I feel like for many of you all, you know, you need to protect yourselves because you may very well have some folks, as we already know, that is, um, you know, very jelly, you know, very envious, you know, very deceptive snakes. You know, they may come off like they love you, you know, but they really don't love. You know, there's a thin line between love and hate. And it's like the moment that you know, shit fizzles. Oh, that love turns to hate very easily. So it's like, you know, I, I've never understood how you could be in love with someone one moment and then in, in what they call, you know, a, a, a moment of passion, you could just take somebody out, snuff them out because, you know, the, because of whatever mental illness your ass is suffering from. But with this arrow, I feel like the divine is telling you to use discernment you know, because this is like that air energy also. Be very wise and very particular about who you have around you. Um, you should only be surrounded by, you know, loving and uh, high vibrational people, energies. People who celebrate your wins. People who are also winning. 
you know, when you surround yourself with other winners, then there is no room for jealousy because it's literally like, you know, steel sharpens steel. So it's like, you know, you all will encourage and motivate each other to be better. You will sharpen each other. And when you have, you know, people that want to be like energy vampires and just ride your coattail, oh, they get, they take it very personal when you start creating boundaries because of their fucking distracting asses. Talking about, yo, let's go to the club and let's go pick up some women. And you sitting here writing a thesis to get your fucking degree. It's like, where, where is, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're no friend. You're trying to distract me off my path, my course. So it's like, you got to start looking at your circles again. You know, this circle is here. You got to stand perpendicular, you know what I'm saying? On your square as well. You know, this, this is about standing in your, in the upright position, standing erect, you know, and protecting yourself by any means, by any strategy, you know? As long as it's along the lines, like I always say, of good karma. Like you don't want to, you know, you don't want to accumulate bad karma. You want to stay along the lines of remaining righteous and just. But I do feel like protection. Um, I feel you're also protected too. Because it says surround yourself with protective energy. Um, so many of you, your home may be like, you know, I'm hearing the word shrine. <laughs> I'm hearing a shrine, but you may literally have like a home full of like, you know, angel statues. Um, you may have certain sigils and symbols, aunts, um, ohm symbols, uh, you know, the uh, hand of Fatima, um, evil eye, you know, just all around your home to just ward off any negativity or any psychic attacks that people could be sending because they trifling and miserable as hell. So, you know, this energy here, because maybe some of you all with the moon right next to it, you may have some hidden energy, um, hidden enemies, you know, secret frenemies and shit. So, um, today I was clearing out my Instagram because I was looking through the, the, the followers list, like not only who I'm following, but who following me. And I'm like, who the fuck is you? I don't remember befriending you. So it was like, I got to go through there and I got to just delete. I don't give a damn if I'm left with like 300 followers, even if it's just my family. I just, I just don't want to be bringing in no baggage into 2022 because it is a six universal year. So I want to come in harmonious, light, you know what I'm saying? Open-minded, open to receive new. So I want to get rid of the old. I already started feng shui my house. So some of y'all may need to do that as well. Just to give you clarity. Because you know when you're around a bunch of clutter, it literally is a reflection of your mind. So you have to be mindful not to have stuff, even dust and things building up around, you know, in your household. That is negative energy. It's just negative energy and it can affect you. And so... Now you have Oracle. And so it says, uh, wait for important information. So look at this. There, there's some information coming in. You all may receive a message um, from someone. Someone is mustering up the coverage, it looks like, to um, either give you a message or maybe this is just you receiving a message from the divine, um, some sort of divine intervention or download or transmission. Um, I feel like, you know, some of y'all could be going to like psychics or or you're just here right now, you know, maybe that's picking up on you all just watching tarot readings. Um, but I do feel like with it coming next to uh, this card of protection that, you know, there's a message that's telling you, you know, what you need to do to protect yourselves from, you know, protect uh, some potential unsavory energy. Um, right now, this is, I don't know who this is. I have no idea who this is, so I'm going to just... Go to the next song because it's like there's no title to the name and the name of the song wasn't on there either. So now we have Foxy Brown and this is called um, I Can't Feature in Total. So yeah, so somebody can't communicate. Um, they can't muster. They don't know how to muster up the strength to communicate with you. Uh, but I feel like they will. You know, I feel like they're, you know, they're going to pick up on your messages uh, Scorpio, that you're sending them, whatever it is that you're sending into the ethers, whatever prayers and petitions, 
you know, that you're sending out into the ethers. I feel like many of you could be manifesting this person to come out of their shell because uh, the moon is like cancer energy and the cancer is the crab. So this person could be like in a hermit mode or they could be like in a shell under a fucking rock. Like <laughs> we already saw that there was like, you know, um, gap band. So I was picking up on like maybe distance. Uh, maybe somebody is um, would have to travel. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe there's an age gap and this person just feels intimidated communicating with you. Uh, but I am feeling like, you know, with surround yourself with protective energy. This is also saying like surround yourself around good hearted folks, people who are on your same wavelength vibration, because uh, you can't do no more of that negative shit no more. You know, and I feel like you're going to be receiving some really um, important messages from spirit. So what else do we have? We got uh, Shallon Master. This is powerful. Be graceful in the movement and action. So be graceful in movement and action. Some of you all can be taking up karate lessons. You know, maybe if it's not karate, maybe it's yoga. You know, maybe some of you all are doing Tai Chi you know what I'm saying? Where you're just kind of like channeling the energy and working with the energy, you know, releasing. That's a good way to release, unlock your chakras, you know. But this is saying to um, be graceful in movement. So maybe some of you all um, definitely need to do like yoga or do some karate or some um, sort of tai chi because this gets your like, this gets the, um, this gets your chi energy, you know, moving to, um, you know, to release toxicity, negativity, um, to release negative energies out of the body, you know, um, blockages, you know, so for some of you all, I feel like this person will also, uh, because it says be graceful in movement, whoever this person is, you may not know, um, cause look how this person is, you know, he's coming, he looks almost like in a defensive energy and you don't even know, but the divine is sending you, sending you intuitive messages to tell you how to handle this person. Because I feel this person doesn't really know. It's almost like I'm hearing the word awkward, you know, maybe they're socially awkward or maybe they don't have, um, a lot of experience, you know, courting someone, um, you know, according a divine feminine. So they're naturally intimidated. And so they may feel like I can't, you know, because the song I can is playing. And this is by Foxy Brown and Toto. But I feel like, you know, you know, they're coming because you've been calling them. You've been requesting them. You know, you've been sending them petitions up every month on a new moon and a full moon. You was doing that same candle magic ritual. <laughs> you was calling them in on the full moons and the new moons like yo bring my boo-boo back you know and you knew that they was going through their dark night of the soul journey which is why you started to assist them you know just by healing yourself you help them uh and activate and trigger them to start doing their work that's why in the beginning amel LaRoe was singing searcher for my soul and so now protective energy not only do you need protective energy but your person is also uh possibly under attack um, you know, because like I was picking up, they could be like breaking away from a relationship that they could have been in for a while. Um, and I feel like, you know, the divine is going to send you messages and pertinence to this person. Um, and that could be what you're waiting for. You, you could be waiting for the message that it's done, whatever they was involved in. It was just 37, 37. So whatever they was involved in is done over, finished, kaput, uh, that 37 is 10, 10. So not only did you complete your cycle, you're waiting to know that they completed theirs. So this person now is coming up. You don't even know. The divine is like, look, wait for important messages. And this person is sneaking up behind you. Um, but he has this very defensive disposition. It looks a little angry, but I feel like you're not even concerned because you know you're protected. And I feel like you also like you're, you're psychic. You're wearing this purple garb that represents crown chakra. So it's like you, 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 you're very sensitive to energy. And I feel like, you know, this is this person's, um, you know, maybe they're, you know, a little immature, uh, maybe they don't know how to come in, um, and be, you know, humble. Maybe they're very egotistical, uh, or proud. Um, and this does look like a young, you know, young boy, you know, or an adolescent male, um, 
you know, and this could be male or female, whoever, whatever's on the cards, it doesn't matter. That could be, you know, whoever you are, you know, that's watching because this is Scorpio reading. But yeah, so, you know, whoever this is, I feel like you could just, you, 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 your spidey senses are picking up. And like I said, you're already in the craft. So you, you already manifested this and this person's coming in. So they may be trying to fight this, you know, maybe it's a possibility they're trying to fight it because we got, I can't play it. Um, and it's four, four, four on the clock when I said that. Four, four, four on the clock, and it 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 it, it changed when I said it's four, four, four. It changed because you know me, I like to show and prove. Um, but I feel this person is your divine masculine. But I feel like they've been fighting this connection, and I feel you had to turn your back on this person and protect yourself from them because they was playing games, bread crumbing. Childish games, acting like they're not interested, but you knew the whole time they loved you and was yearning for you. And you just got sick of the games. You was like, I ain't got time for that. You know, because remember the gap band, I was picking up on the fact that maybe there was an age gap. Even if it's not an age gap, confirmation. And we got GD playing, I do love you. I do love you. I love you. I love you. Woo-hoo. Yeah, so this person does love you, and they was fighting it the whole time, acting like they're not interested. They was fighting you. They was fighting you and fighting this connection. And then you turned your back on that ass, was like blocker, blocker, blocker. And then on top of that, you didn't allow them inside of your circle, like your friend circle. It was like, you, you fucking, like, you left them, like, hanging. Because you wasn't playing games. But I feel like this person has gone through some sort of like self-mastery. Like they've been searching for their soul. They've been growing. Because I see what appears to be a dragon behind them. And dragons represent like, you know, self-mastery. Because dragons um, literally have mastered water, fire, earth, and air. You know what I'm saying? As well as ether, you know? So it's like this person has been searching for their soul. And maybe they're coming in to fight for this connection. Because guess what? Oh, man, this is the wrong song. It says on my screen, I do love you, but they're playing Rihanna. My my thing has been glitching like crazy, y'all. This th That was Fleetwood Mac, Rihanna, right, singing when I turned it up jamming. And I love that song because actually um, Rihanna is a magical being. So I do feel like you did manifest this person. And you're just waiting for them to come around and figure it out, you know. But, um... Like I said, with with this um, I Do Love You playing, oh, maybe there's a, a, a problem with that song, GQ. Yeah, because, yeah, there's a problem with that song. That's why it was playing Rhiannon, but the screen didn't turn to the Rhiannon song. But um, anyway, so yeah, this person definitely has been manifesting. You've been manifesting this person back because you are the sage, okay? And as the sage, what do you do? You utilize all of the elements around you. You know how to utilize that. You know how to set your intention. You also know to create a circle of protection around you and around what it is that you wish to desire and bring into you without harm to anyone else. This oracle is showing you in your power. You're going to receive the messages that you have sent out to um, receive, you know, like whatever it is you've been asking the divine, whatever petitions you've been sending out to the divine. It's like you're waiting for that information. And this person will come around because you are Rhiannon, even in the... the the um, goddess guidance deck, the Rhiannon card speaks to you being a sorceress. Um, and this is exactly what, you know, the Oracle is as well. It's like, so you've manifested somebody and they're willing to come back and fight for this connection because I do feel being that I saw that 444 and it's 448, which is 4444. I do feel like this person is absolutely your twin flame soulmate, your yang to your yin, yin to your yang. Um, we have peacekeeper and it says, let go of the need to be right. So there has been this, this, you know, this, this connection has been, you know, kind of like there's been a gap in this connection because somebody has been like literally stubborn as hell. Um, you know, because remember I saw that Ram and I was saying somebody was being stubborn or, you know, bullheaded, you know, just kind of not wanting to give into, you know, like you have to be willing to compromise 
if you're going to be in a relationship. That's what's picking up pride, ego. And that's what this person, this, that's what young people do. They don't know how to put their pride to the side and do what's best for the, you know, the, the greater good. They rather, you know, fight it because they're in unable to be vulnerable. They're di disconnected and detached from their emotions because in this young man's mind, he, you know, um, he connects, you know, emotions to something feminine, you know, or something weak, you know, and that's simply not the case. So with this peacekeeper, the divine is saying, look, you know, even though you write, shh, you write, Scorpio, shh. <laughs> um, you know, you don't have to prove it to this person because we already see they fragile. You know, they're fragile, you know, they're, they're like eggshells. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you got to be very sensitive to this person or compassionate to this person and not judge them because the divine wants you to be the peacekeeper. So if this person does come in, you don't have to fight them. You don't have to be right in the situation because I feel like that'll only bruise their, their old fragile ego even more, even further. So it's like the divine is like, look, be the peacekeeper. So the peacekeeper that is, you know, positive energy activates constant elevation four, 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 four. So if you want your relationships, Scorpio, to, you know, push forward, to develop, to evolve, to manifest, then you have to be the peacekeeper. You can't be the one that's right. So your twin flame is coming in, but they've been fighting it because, you know, that's what, that's what, um, I don't want to call them immature, but you know, people who are detached from their emotions, um, you know, they tend to have difficulty being vulnerable. I mean, it's just call a spade a spade. It's just like, that's what it is. But I do feel like if you approach the situation with peace, love, and light in your heart, you absolutely can turn things around. Um, and that's a white buffalo behind her. And that represents abundant strength. So you gotta, you gotta tap into your strength, um, in order to do this, because maybe, you know, they did, you know, they, they could have abandoned you. They could have made you feel like you wasn't shit. Like, you know, maybe they said some things that had you feeling like, um, wow, you really tell me how you really feel, you know, uh, but they was just fighting it because they was afraid to express what they truly felt. Uh, but I feel like this person has been searching for their soul and they have been working hard to evolve and change. And I feel like, you know, because this says master shall and master, they have mastered themselves. So they have evolved and grown. They've reached a level of ascension. And with the dragon there, I feel like you could be dealing with somebody who is born, um, and under the Chinese, Chinese Zodiac of dragon. Um, so, you know, whatever year, I believe, uh, if you look it up, you can, you can figure out what your, what that is. Cause I'm not sure what, what the years are. I know 76 is one. I know 2000, if you was born in 2000, but you wouldn't be dating nobody born in 2000. But I mean, just go and search that Chinese Zodiac dragon. What's the year of the Chinese Zodiac, um, dragon. And it, it will, it will provide you that information. But, um, so let's see what else we got here. So we have fire guardian ignite your passions. I love this. So this is you and that powerful manifesting, um, energy. This could also be your person because now they don't become a master. So now they're going to go after their passions because they don't realize that they're also, um, a sorcerer, a magician, a magi, uh, a warlock, a witch, you know, they realize that because you two are going to be matching each other's energy. You know, this person's going to have a lot of passion for you. Um, and I do feel like, you know, this individual is being sent, as I said, by your ancestor, spirit guide, your spirit team. Uh, you two are going to be like a spiritual power couple. Um, you two are on the same um, wavelength. I feel like this person definitely has a lot of passion, a lot of desire. Um, and I feel they're going to come. They're going to come towards you and they're going to um, let you know that. Like they're going to. They're going to let that be known <laughs> how they really feel. So let's get some additional messages. What time is it? Oh my God, it's already 47 minutes into the reading for real, for real. All right, so let's give a card to Bang Bang Boogie. Bottom of the deck, what do we have? Look at this, High Priestess, High Priest. Didn't I say you were always giving that energy off? This is that energy. This says responsibility. And what was the song saying? You ought to know. It is your responsibility to know who you are. To know what your life's purpose is. If you don't know, it's your job to find out, to figure it out. So that's why the divine was like, you ought to know who you are now. You've been on this journey for 10 years. 
I, don't, I shouldn't have to tell you. You know what I'm saying? I can't hold your hand through this. <laughs> you know? It's like, I can, but I can't. It's like, at some point, you got to stand erect, stand on your own. You got to try your own legs out. You know? And we got Mastermind playing right now by Nas. So you all are masterminds. And this is what the high priestess is. Very psychic, intuitive, clairaudient. You could be receiving messages telepathically, intuitively from your person. Because as we see here, it says wait for important information. So you're waiting for this information. And someone's trying to mastermind this. They're trying to make sure it's right. So these two cards just kind of like fell and landed in my hand. Everything else fell out of my hand. These two cards are here. So it was like they chose themselves. So, oh my God, this is crazy. So we got healer here. So this is what you all are coming to discover or have already discovered. You are healers, shamans, your masterminds, your warlocks, your wizards, your witches, your magicians, artists, alchemists. You are, you are. So you have to know that. And this is falling right under sage. So many of you definitely are master teachers. Many of you have been on this journey for a reason. Like I said, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And a lot of you all are very aware and in tune and in touch and sensitive to people, places, and things. Why? You're super powerful right now. Look at this. Witches hat. Powerful. You had two witches come out. So if you all, like whoever I'm picking up on, y'all are definitely in the practice. Like there's no denying that. And with mastermind, y'all are like masterminding something. You know, you're masterminds you, you, in manifesting and in setting intention. You're very powerful. And that's why I said y'all are picking up on the messages. You know, you're powerful. And so that means you are sending messages. Look at all the activity, you know, going, I mean, surrounding the crown chakra. And this says, um, it says, take note to intuitive messages. And so, yeah, you're, you're, you're receiving them downloads from spirit, divine intervention. You know what I'm saying? You're receiving the information from spirit. And it's because you have tapped into your power. You are very sensitive to energy. And you go with what you feel. You know what I'm saying? You go with what feels right in your inner gumption. Look at this. You got the masculine, Lord God. Didn't I say you're masculine? You got a masculine, divine masculine. For some of you all, you're, you are the divine masculine. So you're in your power. You are the divine master. Oh my God. You have masterminded all of this. And next we have boundaries. And this is next to the card that was telling you about protection. Arrow. These are two like air signs. So what, what was I saying? So this is about protecting yourself um, from psychic attacks, from other practitioners, witches, warlocks, anybody that could be potentially trying to interfere and interrupt with a union that obviously is meant to be. Because all them four, 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 fours that was showing up is just confirmation. You know what I'm saying? And so with this, it says surround yourself with protective energy. So that's what setting boundaries is all about. Making sure that the energy around you is pure, you know, is authentic. You know what I'm saying? Is real and not people mastermind in some way to scheme, scam, plot, plan, and, and and dupe you out of some shit. But this right here is you cutting your 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 losses. You know what I'm saying? Also cutting yourself free. I feel your person is also doing that. I feel strongly the divine is, is giving your person, whoever you are attracting, um, these instructions to protect themselves and to start preparing. Um, to, you know, to be freed from a situation that could have potentially been uh, very toxic, um, very codependent, you know, because they need to be around protective energy, which means they was behind enemy lines, you know. And right now we got us, I got a story to tell by the Notorious B.I.G. And this is coming right when I'm about to clarify the Oracle. Wait for, <laughs> wait for important information. So maybe some of you all are going to get a message from your person, whether you know them or not. And they're going to tell you their life story. They're going to tell you like what they've been through in their former relationships. I'm not a fan of like going into detail and 
you know, bad mouthing exes and all of that with a potential new love. Because I feel like even though people say no judgment, they, they be judging your ass, <laughs> you know, and I feel like it kind of like sets the tone where it's like you're, you know, if, if that's somebody you've been with, you respect that relationship for what it was. It wasn't always bad. And if that's the father or mother of your child, you shouldn't be bad mouthing them to somebody, you know, new anyway, because regardless of whether they are a hole or not, um, they're still the mother or father to your child and you still are going to be, um, you know, attached to them. you got a soul tied to that person for life. So with this, this awakening, um, I do feel like this person that you are attracting is awakening coming out of some sort of fog. Maybe this person had somebody doing some shit to them and they had some sort of aha moment or epiphany or maybe they had some um, someone um, confirm that they was under some sort of spell work and so they had to fight you know, and gnaw and, you know, fight their way out of that connection. That's a possibility because it says, I got a, a story to tell. And this is by Notorious B.I.G. All right. Thank you. And so we have awakened and flew right back out. So, yeah, this person had some sort of epiphany that somebody was doing some shit, you know, could have been putting love spells on their ass or trying to bind them, block them from, you know, leaving or, you know, getting into a union or you know, trying to interfere with their, with their livelihoods, you know, and with dedication, you know, this person dedicated them, the, their selves to waking up, to growing. They connected strongly to their spirit teams as well. And this is why they became a, a, a master, a Shaolin master. And this is why your person is going to make their way to you because whoever they was dealing with definitely was doing some bullshit. And it was just five, five, five. So that was messing with their um, balance. They was like out of equilibrium, confused, conflicted. You know what I'm saying? But they mastered themselves because I feel like with this altar, maybe they dedicated more time connecting to their higher self or seeking higher knowledge. So they could have been the ones... You know, that was really like in that space, you know, kind of learning, you know, this is like mastering thyself. This is connecting. This is in hermit mode. So you become, you know, you free yourself from all of, you know, the chatter, all of the confusion, all of the unwarranted advice, um, you know, from the outside world. And you start going within uh, because we all know the answers we seek are found within and five, 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 five is on the clock right now. And that's 20. So this is about duality balance. You know what I'm saying? Balance and masculine and feminine, you know? Um, so maybe this person was very airy in their head and not emotional, uh, because this is an energy of defense. So they, I do feel like they weren't very, they weren't emoting as much, um, because remember they were yearning for your love. And when you're yearning, that is not an action. That's, that's in action. <laughs> you're just yearning and longing for some shit. That's just like praying without, you know, setting intentions and without, you know, putting the action behind, you know, the request. So that's what this person is doing. They're fighting. They've dedicated time, you know, to mastering themselves, to healing, to growing, uh, searching for their souls. And I feel like they're going to have a, a very, interesting story to share share with you uh i feel like when y'all come into union um both of you will share interesting stories about your journey about life about your spirituality because i do feel like both of you are um definitely going to be like a, a power spiritual couple like you're going to be a, a power spiritual couple man this is a spiritual union here and so we have intention so yeah setting intention. So your intentions need to be good. So what we have here is we have stability. So now this person, what was that? Wasn't I saying like this person was out of equilibrium. They was out of balance because, you know, they definitely was feeling a little, um, you know, maybe they was codependent in that form of relationship and they had to get their, you know, they had to get their bearings. They had to get themselves together, you know, but now they, they feel stable. They feel strong. And we have, um, you know, the staff here, which is the same energy as, you know, the fire guardian, you know, this is talking about, you know, you know, finding passion in, in what we do, you know, and, um, and not fretting, not being afraid, but tackling, you know, those, you know, those deep desires, uh, fearlessly, you know, and taking risks, 
um, the divine is telling someone to be graceful, you know, be graceful in movement and actions. So it's like, even though you may feel, you know, like you have a sense of stability, like you got your bearings. Um, it's like when you come in, don't be so aggressive, you know, don't be so guarded. So this person is learning to be more stable, um, to show more emotional intelligence or to, uh, be more confident. Um, the staff, it's like, they're, they're, maybe they're, you know, a little fiery because of the passion they feel and the desire, but the divine is kind of giving them the, um, you know, giving them the little nudge to like, you know, like let your guard down a little bit, get out of this defensive disposition and be inviting, be more inviting. Right now we have Angie Stone. This is called holding back the years. So yeah, this person definitely held themselves back and delayed the situation because of maybe their lack mindset. You know, this is definitely a scarcity mindset um, when you are so defensive with everyone. But because this says shall and master, I do feel like they've learned to master themselves and they've, you know, found um, stability. You know, they rebuilt on a more solid foundation and they want a new start, a new beginning um, whilst... Uh, whilst in this um, energy of, you know, self-sufficiency and independence. So with this intention, I do feel like they're also using this staff to scry, to set intention, to manifest. This could look like, uh, this could literally work um, like a magic wand. Um, the staff is a very magical instrument. And so I do feel like this person is setting intention because you can see this magic wand right here so they are utilizing perhaps the same full moon i'm hearing cancer because the moon is sticking out to me and we did see the sun um so we're in the sun sign right now of uh what is it capricorn so you could be dealing with a oh wait is it sagittarius it ain't sagittarius anymore it's gotta be capricorn right now so we're in this um sun sign of capricorn so maybe you know it's uh an earth sign a fire sign Okay, it could be anybody. Let me not go into that because I hate going into that um, that whole diatribe about who it is. You know who it is. I don't need to know. I just need to read the energy. So yeah, this person here is manifesting you back. And I feel like they're hoping that you are going to be um, open, you know, be receptive uh, because they know that they held back, um, you know, in the past, you know, because the name of the song is Holding Back the Years. And this is by Angie Stone. And they could have been cold as, you know, cold as a stone. They could have, you know, no movement, immobile, you know, didn't take action. Um, because remember, gap band. So I felt like there was like distance, uh, whether age, you know, whether just emotional, um, um, an emotional gap. Or there could have just literally just been no inactivity. Like no, this person didn't make any attempts to come towards you. And so maybe that's the reason why the divine is like, look, be the peacekeeper. Uh, you don't have to, um, you know, <laughs> uh, retort uh, when this person responds, you know, when he comes back in or she comes back in. You know, your retort doesn't have to be, um, you know, like keeping tabs on what took place or what happened in the past, bringing the past up. It's like, you know, holding back the years is also saying like, you know, you're holding back from you know, moving forward when you're constantly living in the past. You know, that's what I'm picking up right now. So what we have right now is concealment. See that? We got concealment. So there's something that you don't know. Somebody's trying to hide some shit. You know, maybe you felt like this person was hiding themselves, running away. You know what I'm saying? And this is somebody wise also, because I always see a cloak, you know, as, you know, um, you know, what those in the practice wear. You know, whether you be a magi, you know, whether you be... Uh, a witch, a warlock, a hermit, um, a wizard, whatever. Um, but this is the clothing or the garb that, you know, someone in the practice would wear. And I feel like there's somebody here um, that you, you know, the divine is saying, oh man, because I'm getting a couple of messages. Because it says, peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. So, there's some things that you may not have known in the past. Um, and I feel like this person may very well reveal those things to you. They may very well reveal who they are or who, you know, they were, you know, what they was dealing with at that time. 
Um, because I feel like a lot of y'all felt, you know, like there was no reciprocity. Like you was just given and this person didn't put much of anything into it. And so that kind of made you feel a little like frustrated, you know, unappreciated. Um, and also like devalued, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, a lot of y'all, you know, definitely like cut your ties and your losses with this person, but you still felt love for this person. You still was checking in on them intuitively, telepathically. Maybe he was astral traveling, visiting them. Uh, maybe he was doing some love rituals, you know, uh, whatever you were doing to call them in. It's like whatever they didn't reveal to you in the past, the divine is telling you to just, just forgive. Forgiveness is, you know, it's always for you. You know what I'm saying? But the divine is like, even though you're right, you know, you know, because you may feel like, you know, this person was kind of breadcrumbing and maybe they, they abandoned you, you know what I'm saying? Just out of the blue, you didn't even know what happened and all you could do was pick up the pieces, you know? And so, you know, this person now had to go through their dark night of the soul journey because whatever they did to you, it's like they, they received, you know, instant karma, you know, they received some sort of karma. Um, but I feel like this individual has difficulty um, showing who they truly are, you know, they kind of hide behind facades, you know, they, they hide who they are, you know, around their people. Cause remember I said earlier, you know, with that song, no religion by prodigy, um, you know, maybe they live in a, a, a overly religious family, you know, Bible toting folks. And maybe they've always been that person that just didn't do all the churches, you know, church visits every week and, you know, and so they, you know, there was something they were hiding about themselves already. And I feel like you saw through that, you know, and, and, and some of you all may have, you know, looked past it, you know, and was still interested, but they refused to, to, um, you know, to compromise because of fear, you know, maybe because they, of fear of being rejected once they did, um, maybe that's what they felt, you know, as children is rejected or abandoned, um, right now we have, I'll be sure, uh, naturally mine. So I do feel like this person is very sure, uh, cause they done did their dark night of the soul or their deep dives. You know, this person is definitely, um, doing something, uh, and, and they're very sure that you are theirs. They feel like it's just natural the way the two of you, um, connect, you know, maybe you make them feel at ease. You make their soul feel, you know, peaceful. Um, they're definitely uh, grounding themselves, you know, they're coming back down to reality, getting out of la la land, um, you know, all proud and shit. Um, so <laughs> we have candle magic. See that? So now this person is starting to, um, you know, receive message or send messages. And I feel like you're, you're, you're picking them up, whatever they're sending, you know, through their candle magic, because maybe they're lighting candles or maybe they're, you know, um, doing whatever they're doing, whatever magic they're, uh, in acting is, is like, you're waiting for the messages you're picking up, uh, with your spidey senses. Uh, this person does feel like the two of you are just a, a natural cut. Like it's just, it's natural the way the two of you, um, you know, the, two, the way the two of you connect, you know, and we have on the bottom of the deck. See, I can't make this shit up. It's just natural the way the two of you connect because this is your divine masculine, your divine feminine, and your asses will be married. She's wearing a whole wedding band right here. And on top of that, it says hand fasting. So this person is going to be like, they, they're not going to be shy. Um, they're going to be attentive. They're going to hug you. They're going to caress you. They're going to massage your back. You know, they're going to be very loving, very nurturing. You're going to feel appreciated. If they come home from work and there's food cooking, the next day you're going to have flowers. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. You know, this, this energy is going to be reciprocal. This is a very happy union throughout the whole reading. I kept seeing four, 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 four. So your person has been searching for their soul so that they could come into this beautiful divine feminine, divine masculine union. This is a spiritual union. I've been saying this shit the whole read. <laughs> I love this shit. I love it. Part of my language. I just get a little spicy because it's so exciting. All right, baby. So let's see what else we got coming in, going out, going on. For my beloved Scorpio. So it says you are a miracle and you deserve the absolute best on the bottom of the deck. See that? Look at this. Attention whore superficial. This is what this person could have been struggling with in the past. Because I was picking up ego, pride, and those things will make you do shit. It'll make you feel like you got to go have buku women 
so you could be cooling down, so you could feel attractive. And they, they, they was just an attention or immature, you know, because I, I was picking up like boyish en energy and then this, you know, overtly defensive disposition is like, that's not inviting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then we have get to know you better. So this person now, you know, who knows the era of their ways. That's why the divine was like, look, even though you was right, Scorpios, because they was being a whole whole cake out there. Holes got to eat too. <laughs> What's that from? <laughs> I think that's from um, Hollywood Shuffle. <laughs> but uh, Rising Power to that, um, that comedian. I can't. Um, what was his name? Oh, man. I can, it escapes me. But Rising Power to him. But this is why the divine was saying, like, be the peacekeeper. You know, you don't have to take. Um, well, how do you say that? Keep, keep count. On who was right, who was wrong. It's like, yes, they was hiding shit. And they was hiding their, their, you know, their dark side. You know, they was hiding the fact that they was trying to be, you know, a player from the Himalaya. Like, they, they wanted to be that dude. They wanted to be that fly chick, you know. And what you did was, like, you, you cut them completely off with this. <laughs> you was like, oh, word? That's what we're doing here? Okay, bye. You know, and you immediately put your guard up. You, you you put your defenses up. You wasn't playing with that energy. You didn't have time for it. But now this person realizes that you are a miracle and you deserve the absolute best. So they're going to come in and act like they got some sense. They're going to come in acting like they got some sense because now they want to get to know you better. So what does a divine masculine do when they want to get to know you better, ladies? What do they do? They court you. They let you know that you're important, that you're special. They make time for you. They check in on you. They return your calls, your texts in a timely fashion. It doesn't have to be immediately or expeditiously, but at least the same hour. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because nobody's that busy. I'm sorry. Everybody lives with their phones. I'm the only person that don't live with my phone but <laughs> on the planet. Most people live with their phone in their hand, like constantly with the phone. So there's no reason or excuse for someone not responding to your text for a whole three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours. That's somebody who's got a bunch of people in rotation and they're just like, they're spreading themselves too thin. But when you got somebody now who wants to get to know you better, they're trying to court you. They're not even trying. The courting stage is going to be like, that's just going to be how they engage with you, period. It's not just, let me do what I got to do to get this woman or this man to like me. And then once I got them, then all of that shit they did in the beginning, just it stops. It's like, no, you're courting the divine feminine. The divine feminine is never going to stop being the divine feminine. Divine masculine is never going to stop being divine masculine. So ladies, if you got that man by cooking them a nice big old pan of lasagna, <laughs> Then keep on cooking him that big old pan of lasagna. One, 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 one. That's five. So you have to be willing to, you know, stay consistent and not change once you feel like, okay, I got him hooked. Okay, I got her hooked. Okay, you know, you know what I'm saying? No, if you're serious, if you're interested, then always show that interest. Always be thoughtful. Always be caring. Always be attentive. Don't ever let that shit fizzle. Or else you're going to constantly find yourself, you know, breaking up because women need emotional intelligence you know most of us women because there's a lot of women who are detached from their emotions as well i know some of the fellas have those complaints um so i can't just say women but it's like you have to be you have to do your soul searching in order to be prepared for a relationship to begin with so it's like if you ain't ready to be in a relationship then you maybe you should just continue soul searching and healing and, and getting yourself to a place where it's like, you know, you have something to bring to the table um, and something to offer someone else. More importantly, it's not that you, you know, you um, need a man or a woman, but it's like it's more of a want. It's more of a desire to have, you know, that that partner, you know, to have that that connection with someone. So it's like whoever you're you're manifesting is definitely uh, coming in with the right mindset. They want to get to know you better. So this could be somebody who could be like, um, you know, kind of like that secret admirer right now. But I feel like they're not that secret because I feel like you are highly intuitive. Um, you waiting for them to just stop you know, stop stalking and spying and reach out. 
you know, because the divine is like, you know, there's so many messages here talking about messages, intuitive messages, be devoted and committed. Um, and this message here, uh, take note of intuitive messages. And then this is saying, wait for important messages. So it's like, you're waiting, you're waiting, but while you're waiting, you're being proactive. You're still healing. You're working on yourself. And we have, um, fat Joe terror squad. And this is called nothing's going to stop me. So I do feel like, you know, this person and I'm hearing nothing's going to stop us now. So that I feel like that. I just heard that. That's one of them 80s songs <laughs> from them 80s movies. I love it. But, um, yeah, nothing's going to stop you. Nothing's going to stop this person from coming towards you. I feel like, um, yeah, nothing's going to stop this connection really. Because I do feel like, you know, there was, there could have been somebody trying to interrupt this process, you know? So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios. So we see love Jones here. So this is somebody that's jonesing on you. This is somebody you could have history with. Maybe there's some sense of nostalgia because all of these movies are like, you know, some of my favorite love movies, um, you know, from the nineties. And so I feel like maybe you watched, you know, some of those films with this person that I'm speaking of. Maybe the two of you share the same um, interest in music, the same type of music. Someone is definitely listening to music and they're getting some sort of downloads. This is pay attention to the signs. So someone is absolutely like receiving major downloads and they know they got to get off the bullshit that they're on. And this person is grounding themselves, they're healing themselves. They're finding alignment with themselves, you know? And this is what's letting them know, like, damn, you know, I got to take my power back. Maybe they're with, you know, a, a, a karmic or they're with someone right now. And they're starting to realize, like, you know, this person is, you know, perhaps, um, you know, someone that they shouldn't be with because it's telling them that, you know, maybe they need to uh, be around some different energy because it's saying surround yourself with protective energy, which would let me think or allude to the fact that they are around some really toxic individuals, you know, and that could be why their disposition is so guarded and so defensive. Um, but I do see they've been mastering themselves, uh, and they've been doing so, um, while you all have been in separation, not communicating. Uh, I feel like they also used you as, you know, fuel because they want to, they want to come back to you, um, you know, evolved, you know, it's like they want to impress you. Right now we have uh, Ryan Leslie and this is called um, your fly. So this person definitely thinks you're fly. You know, they think you're beautiful. They think you're intelligent. They think you, you got it going on. Um, and it's because you took your power back. You wasn't with the nonsense, the bullshit, because this person is definitely like he's looking at her back <laughs> because you walked your ass away. You know, uh, whether you masculine or feminine, he's looking at the back. And I feel like he wants to fight for you because he feels you're fly, you know, in every aspect of the word, not just beauty, you know, but brains, you know, um, you could, you, you get them, you know, you're witty, you know what I'm saying? Um, and you're also like, you're selfless, you're caring, you're kind, you know, and those are, those are attributes that are like far and few between. It's very rare to find that, um, you know, good hearted people. So it says you are unlike anyone I've ever met, you know what I'm saying? Um, or dealt with. So you are unique and rare, you know, that that's what intrigues, intrigues this person. That's what interests them. That's why they have this passion. That's why they hold this desire, you know what I'm saying? They're yearning for your love and it could be, you know, even going as far as doing candle magic to bring you in. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to get some additional messages. So let me cut this deck. So this person definitely thinks you're fly. You're beautiful. You're wise. You're a healer. You know, you're just that divine feminine. So it says spiritually guided, divinely protected. So you absolutely, especially, um, with this healer and this sage, you, you are, you know, Scorpios, you are living your life's purpose. You know, the divine has, you know, initiated and assigned you a role here to help heal the collective. Uh, and I feel like by just you healing yourselves, um, you are now being uh, initiated, you know, to help heal others who have found themselves in similar situations and circumstances. Maybe even if you all are... Um, 
you know, if you have a YouTube channel, which is aimed at, you know, whatever relationships, uh, love ships, maybe you have, um, an opinion that others need to hear and it enlightens, it inspires. So this just flipped out of my hand while I'm talking about your spiritual career. So I feel like your person will also be in the spiritual arena as well. And you all will have a very happy house, happy spouse. You all will be, you know, in a, a relationship, I feel. Um, because this says spiritually guided, divinely protected. And then we this just flipped out. Look at this. Like minds. A alike, B alike. So you are drawing in your divine masculine and feminine. And I feel like you're, you're you because you took your power back, like I said, healed from past wounds, traumas, pains, exes, uh, toxic family members, friends, uh, frenemies, uh, you know, jealous, envious colleagues. Um, and you took your power back. Uh, this is what you have, you know, resorted to. You, you've learned, um, you know, to read energy, like I said, uh, to speak energy, uh, and in doing so you now can attract, draw in other like minds, other souls, and you could also detract, you know, anybody that's not on your frequency and vibration. Um, but I do feel like, you know, this person, uh, whoever you're picking up these downloads, these intuitive messages from, because I feel like there's intuitive messages, there's telepathic messages you're picking up on. It. They could be sending you, you know, that bat signal <laughs> or vice versa, because, uh, whatever's going on during this, this moon, maybe during the next full moon, uh, there'll be some sort of activity, but this person will become your husband. Um, this will be someone that becomes your wife, your yang, your yin, your twin, your soulmate, your spiritual partner, union, uh, your counterpart, um, your homie lover friend, you know, and Jill Scott is singing the real thing. I cannot make this up. Yeah, so you cut off all that fake shit, you know, all them people you felt like, you know, they was just, you know, around you to get some shit and around you to use you. Um, you cut yourself free from that because you was looking for the real thing. You wanted real connections, real authentic um, relationships. You wanted people on your wavelength, you know, you wanted other people who, you know, could sit down and, 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 and engage in stimulating conversations. Um about things other than reality TV, you know what I'm saying? And, um, so I feel like, you know, for you all, you, you cut off, you know, all of the fat, you know, you trimmed the fat, you cut yourselves free from the toxic energy, from the, you know, those low vibrational snakes. And by you doing that, um, you know, that triggered your person to begin their work because they were one of the ones that got cut off as well. Um, but I also feel like now, this is where, you know, the person you're attracting is at, is now they're learning boundaries the same as you, you know, you had to create a boundary for this person because I feel like, you know, there was none, you know, and so now your person is in that space. So it's like, they're literally shadowing you. That also could speak, be the reason why it says like minds, because it's like, there's that shadowing effect. It's like you, you start mirroring, um, one another, you know, you and your twin, or you and your soulmate. Oh my God, this skyline looks amazing. Let me let y'all see if y'all can see that. Gorgeous. And I'm mad because I missed it. I, I was supposed to take this thing off. But um, yeah, so divine spirit of love and light. Let's see what we got coming and going out. Why is this uh, arrow and boundaries here for our beloved Scorpios? But yeah, you wasn't playing with nobody. You want the real thing. You don't want to be in no loveless relationship. See that? They fear rejection. I, I was picking up on somebody who was fearing rejection. They do want to talk to you, but you got your guard up. You know, you and it's because they know they was bullshitting you in the past. They know they was wrong. That's why I say, even though you know you was right, you don't have to, you know, approach this situation when they do return because they are going to return, but you don't have to approach it, you know, reminding them that they was wrong, you know, just be the peacekeeper, you know, it's almost like let bygones be bygones um, and just try to rebuild on, um, you know, from that moment, because I feel like you're going to be dealing with a completely different person. And this person is really interested in having something real, you know, but they fear rejection because of the way that they treated you in the past, potentially, possibly, could be. And so it says, put you and your needs first and foremost uh, from this moment forward. And that's what you did, you know, because you had that aha moment, that awakening. You woke up, smelled the roses and, and the flowers, and it was like, yo, um, 
you know, if shit don't sit right in your spirit, because that's what you was waiting for. It was like, maybe y'all was waiting by the phone, waiting to hear from this person. And they simply wasn't calling you because they had people in rotation. And, you know, this, this got tired, you know, for you. So you turned your back on the situation and cut it off because this was not what you was anticipating. Nor was this what you thought you would be dealing with, um, with this person. Because I feel like a lot of y'all, because you're so much in your power, I feel like a lot of y'all was almost like shocked at how uh, immature this person came off or how emotionally um, disconnected this person was, you know? So I feel like, you know, what you did was you disconnected them from them, but energetically, I feel like you still are attached to them. There's still that glimmer of, you know... Um, you know, of desiring something further, you know, something more to develop between you and this person. Uh, because I do see with this awakening, you learn like, oh, you know, let me master myself in this process. Let me work on me, you know, because that's the first step to healing is, is healing yourself, which is why you learned, you know, how to become a healer. Every great healer has to heal themselves first. So it's like, that's why you're in this sage energy. So I feel like, as I said, as you change your vibration, if you do have a twin, you automatically will change their vibration uh, because you are spiritually connected. So this is what has caused your person's awakening. And so because you are the knower, the seer, the oracle, the sage, the witch, the, you know what I'm saying? The healer, you are waiting for this person to uh, send that back signal or to re reach out uh, to communicate with you and say whatever it is they want to say, whatever it is they've been fighting and holding back from saying. Because right now we have Kim playing say. So whatever it is this person, you know, has to say to you, you're waiting for them to awaken so that they could say what it is they feel, which is, I am yearning for you. I love you. I have always loved you, my Scorpio. I feel you are rare. You're beautiful. You're intelligent. I feel you're fly. I feel you are, you know, <laughs> you're like my divine feminine. I want to make you my wife. Like, this is the stuff they've been wanting to say. My divine masculine even. So it says, forgive me. I know I broke your trust. So you're waiting perhaps for them to say, I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry for having you in a rotation, Scorpio. You know, you're waiting to hear that apology, you know, and this person is awakening to the fact that they need to, to bite their tongue. Like they need to just go ahead and, and apologize. But what holds them back is the fear of rejection. They would hate to come all the way back to you only to be rejected, only to be turned away. And that's why it's hard for them to say what it is they feel because they know they messed up. But in their mind's eye, what they see when they see you is they see beautiful, they see power, they see a healer, they see a lover, a nurturer. They see you making them happy. Remember the sun was the first card to show up. And what did I tell you? The divine was telling you to be forgiving. Show forgiveness. It's for you. Didn't I say that verbatim? That's why the divine was like, look, keep the peace. Be the peacekeeper. You know what I'm saying? Because this person is finding it very hard to say, you know, we already know they have a very difficult time expressing themselves. So when they do reach out, you know, even though you're expecting that apology, the divine is saying, show forgiveness. It's for you. So for some of you all, I'm hearing very loud, accept the apology you never received. Because you're, you already know this person um, is not as intelligent emotionally as you are. You know, they, they just simply aren't. So why is um, Shaolin Master and Staff stability here? Why is Shaolin Master and Staff here for our beloved Scorpios? My spirit of love like, thank you. That flew out with power. Wow. Look at that. Look at it. So this says... Make your next move your best move. And it says circles. So this is what this person knows they have to do. Why? Because they love how you love them. And it says say. They know they need to say these words. I love you. You know. They have so much passion. And this passion is like. It's intensifying. You know. And because they've been awakening. And because they've been searching for their soul. They now can see very clearly who you are, 
you know, because it says you are a miracle and you deserve the absolute best. And so they could literally be kicking themselves for treating you like you was just another option. You know, they felt content around you. This is the key word, content. They feel like you made them feel safe, secure, strong, capable, grounded, balanced, and aligned. And more importantly, like they felt state, they feel this, this connection will be very like the foundation, you know, just needs some working, but they feel like this could lead to like long-term commitment, marriage, you know, like they, they, they could see you as their wife, you know, this is beautiful. So why is, um, look at this. No reciprocity only. Take, take, take. See this? I literally was saying that. I was saying y'all was like, that's why the divine is something else. Divine is telling y'all be the peacekeeper, you know, because this person is going to come back and they may reveal to you what it is that was going on behind your back, what you didn't know about, you know, because they was concealing things. They was keeping secrets. We had the moon here also. And we have, um, Al Green and it says, let's stay together. So this person is going to come back and, and, and for some of y'all, they're going to ask, maybe this is an ex for some of y'all and they're going to ask, look, you know, can we stay together? Can we work this out? Because I'm realizing now that you're my person. You was upset, pissed off because you was giving to someone who did not know how to reciprocate. They only took. So you was feeling like you was the only one contributing. You was the only one working on the relationship. And so that's what you was like. You holding out, waiting for them to tell you, I'm sorry. That's why the divine was like, look, <laughs> it says, let go of the need to be right. Even though you're right, you know, even though you may be right, because we see this person was just taken. They weren't giving you anything. So it was right for you to cut their asses off. It was right for you to create boundaries, healthy boundaries. That's what self-love is. That's what self-love entails. Um, but the divine is also saying, you know, this person is going to, you know, reveal something to you eventually. Um, and it very well may be, you know, kind of shocking. And the divine is telling you that you're going to have to make a decision. Because with make your next move your best move, uh, whatever decision you make, if it is an ex person, this could have you trapped right back in another cycle, you know, where you're going to have to go through these same lessons you just learned all over again. Um, for many of you, you know, it's going to feel, uh, you know, like you, <laughs> you know, I just feel like you're going to have options. You're going to have to make a decision and you need to use discernment because you're very intelligent, very intuitive, and you're very wise. And like I always say, you know, if the past comes knocking um, and they have not changed, uh, there's no change behavior, keep it moving because they have nothing else to say, nothing new to say to you. It's just the same old verbiage, same old, you know, garbage. So look at this. So this is in, you know, reverse. This is reverse. Um, and it says, I don't, um, what does it say? I don't have any standards and will put my thing in anything. And it says stray dog, stray cat. So this is what they was doing in the past. You know, maybe this is for some of you all who had, you know, um, a very, oh my God, this person was just a hoe. Like I said earlier, a whole cake, just a whole cake. They just wanted to just have whatever. And then with this passion, some of y'all definitely was dealing with somebody who just had a wandering eye. Just always had to have something going on. This is also somebody who just, you know, very charming, you know, but they could be using magic, you know, sex magic. Maybe somebody was under some sort of love spell. Um, the divine is telling you to stay on your square, stay perpendicular in your square. Don't let nobody like gaslight you. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities because there's going to be some messages. It's 53 I said 53, it's 538, so that's 88, and that's 16, that's 7, so trust your intuition. Also pay attention to signs and synchronicities, that's 7 represents your crown. So there's going to be some divine downloads, there's going to be some transmissions, but the divine is telling you to stay rooted, you know, stay rooted, stay grounded, you know, stay in alignment, spiritual alignment, don't let nobody take you off your square for nothing. Because whoever this is, you know, it wasn't reversed. So someone did and had 
to work through some sort of sexual addictions or addictions of some sort or just some sort of afflictions, period. You know, and maybe this is like you got a couple of people um, that's going to be biting for your time, for your attention. Um, you know, the divine does want you to forget, forgive anyone who was treating you in this manner because it, the forgiveness is for you. The law, as long as you hold on to that past person, that animosity and resentment of that past person, you know, the longer you delay this, you know, and we have incubation right underneath that. See that? So this is what's incubating. This is what's behind the scenes. This is what you are manifesting and working on, calling in, drawing in, attracting to you as the divine feminine, divine masculine. And so you're going to have somebody trying to come around to distract you. And we got Mary J. Blige, love no limit. So this person didn't have no limitations. They didn't have no boundaries. This is an ex person that's slick, you know, sliding and slithering their way into your reading yet again. Cause the person I was chiming on before, this is not their energy. This is not their energy. This is someone right here. You know what I'm saying? That was like an ex, a karmic for you, but you have cut them off already. That's why the divine was like, look, um, you know, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Uh, that's why they also had, you know, um, make your next move your best move because you're going to have options. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be some options there and with love, no limit. This person didn't have no dignity, no self-respect and just did anything. When you a stray cat, stray dog, you getting stuck and, and, and you, you hitting anything, put it like that. You try to say it with some tact, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you, you just sticking anything or you getting stuck by anything. It's like. You know, with love, no limit. You didn't have no limits. Like, you're just going, you just willing to do anything, like, and with anybody. And look at the death death card. Yeah, that's that person you had that, um, that ending with. My nose is itching like crazy. So, yeah, this is that person that you all had to cut free because there was a tower. This person was cheating, lying, creeping. See, I can't make this shit up. Look at these cards. I'm going to use these to clarify, but look what's here on the bottom of the deck. You got the death you got the tower and you got the world. Love no limit. That's what I'm chiming on. So love no limit. This person broke your heart. You know what I'm saying? But you you were transformed from that situation. And, you know, even though this tower was destroyed, you went and rebuilt. You know, you rebuilt a more solid foundation. And that's why you have evolved as, as this healer, this sage, because you had to heal yourself. This is very painful. This is like trusting people that were like stealing from you, setting you up, plotting on you, lying on you, cheating on you with your best friends, with your coworkers. These are people like gossiping and spreading rumors and lies. And then when you see them, they smiling in your face. You know what I'm saying? But this person had no limit to what it was they would do to get what they want. And that's why you have this world card. This is about ending. You ended it. Two cards about the death, the ending. You know what I'm saying? This is like things coming full circle. And with this, this eye here, it's like you learned, you saw everything. You know what I'm saying? Your first eye opened up. You was in tune. You wasn't, a, you wasn't, um, you wasn't, um, ignorant or blind to the truth as you may have initially been. You know, you knew this person had no limit. Maybe you found out somebody had a whole sexual addiction that you didn't know about. You know what I'm saying? But that's none of your business. That's on them. They got to heal through that just like you had to heal through all the backstabbing, lying, cheating shit they did to you. Wish them well. Forgive them. You know, wish them well. Because even, you know, you may find out new information because it says concealment. You know, there may be some new news that comes out. You know what I'm saying? That you weren't privy to. You know, and that may like ruffle your feathers even further. But the divine is like, Wusa, beloved, forgiveness. When you forgive... I'm telling you, you free yourself from the toxicity. And now we have Faith Evans, give it to me. And on the bottom of the numerology deck, we have love. So you definitely have somebody that's going to give you love. They're going to love you right. You know what I'm talking about? Like, And that's because you are attracting that, you know, as this divine feminine, you know, as this divine masculine. It's like you're attracting what you are. You're attracting that like mind. You're attracting another spiritual soul, another beautiful um, soul to you. 
So this is beautiful. This is a spiritual union. This is the lovers. And I feel because this is a blue card, I feel there will be expressions of love. I feel like you want someone to give it to you, like to give you um, the love that you have been praying for and asking for. And this person will come in and give it to you because they're in harmony. They have a love for themselves. They're not going to fret and shy away from, um, you know, expressing or showing emotion. Because I was picking up earlier, like somebody being attentive and affectionate. And so we have um, nature. So I'm hearing the words nature, nurture. So this person is someone who is naturally um, very affectionate. So they could be uh, very emotionally intelligent. They speak your love language um, and they will ground you. You know, this is someone who's also, um, and with the 74, that reduces to 11. So I do feel like this will be like that soulmate, that twin flame. This connection is going to be real. They're going to come in and give you the love you deserve. This is beautiful. So divine spirit of love and light. What messages you have for our beloved Scorpios? What messages of love and light do you have for my beloved Scorpios? What's coming and going out going on for my beloved Scorpios? So we got a couple of cards that were sideways. So I just want to expound. So see that? You're going to have a happy ending. And not the type of happy ending some of you fellas are thinking about. <laughs> get your mind out the gutter. But this is going to be a happy ending because this is something you've manifested. This is the number 93 that reduces to 12. So this is something you absolutely, and that 12 reduces to three. So this is about laws of attraction. You know, um, three to me is like a ready, set, go uh, energy. So this is about like setting the intention, um, planning, preparing, and then taking action. And then what you put intention into, you will see results starting to, you know, manifest in real time. And so I feel like there's, you know, whatever you put out there is coming back full circle. And because this is a yellow card, I feel like this is going to make you um, very excited, very happy. Um, and I feel like, you know, deep down, like, you know, you're intuitive. Um and this is also about you taking your power back. It's like you're being rewarded for taking your power back, owning and your owning your power and standing erect ultimately. Um, and I feel you're highly intuitive as well because there's purple here. So that seven of um, you know that seven that crown chakra that showed up earlier. I do feel like you're just trusting um, what it is you're picking up intuitively. You're using discernment more with people. That's why the divine was like. Make your next move your best move. Uh, just giving you, you know, those little hints, those little nudges. Like, you know what I'm saying? Pay attention. You know, be grounded. Be in the moment. You know, don't do anything irrationally or impulsively. It's like now you have to make the best moves for yourself. Um, right here, physical activity. So some of you all are definitely um, getting out more, being more physical, taking care of your body. 67 reduces to 13. So I do feel like, you know, maybe after that ending, some of you all, you know, made a vow to just start being more healthy, eating right, getting more physically fit because maybe you gained some pounds, you know, in that marriage, in that toxic relationship. Um, you know, as I picked up before, you know, some of you all may be emotional eaters or maybe some of you all, it's the opposite where you don't eat and so you could have lost weight. So maybe the divine is saying, look, you know, you need to build your endurance. You know, you need to start, um, you know, stretching and just be more physical, take a walk, get outside. Um, uh, but I do feel like this is also about being proactive uh, in whatever is to come. Um, and yes, compassionate, non-judgment of others, non-judgment of ourselves, just being compassionate because we're all going where we live to die. But in the interim, there's changes that need to be made and implemented in the process. And so we all are, you know, like I said before. It's like a thin line between love and hate. And so even though, you know, this person may have deceived you in the past, it's like, you know, don't, don't let a situation, uh, turn, you know, toxic, um, because of someone who's ignorant, you know, um, ignorance is, you know, they, there's a saying that, you know, God takes care of fools and babies. And I feel like this person is like, is in, is like infantile like they're like an infant you know what i'm saying because they they are so detached from their emotions um that they run you know they run because even in the beginning we had the word um that card that said some a hunter fear something pertaining fear um and and i know it's this person's ego it has a lot to do with their environment and how they grew up um but i do feel strongly 
Um, the divine really doesn't want you to judge that person from your past because it's almost like, you know, people know not what they do. You know what I'm saying? Even though we all know right and wrong, we all willpower and all of that. We know that. But in terms of like spiritually, maybe this person was the one where that no religion song uh, was in effect. You know, it, it, it was playing for them, um, chiming on this ex person um, who just simply didn't have no, they had no coof, you know, and, and, and you can't get mad or angry at somebody um, who simply doesn't have, you know, the information necessary. So I feel like, you know, somehow, some way, uh, this person wants your forgiveness. Um, and the divine wants you to show forgiveness and be compassionate. Um, I also feel with this compassion, um, somebody is going to be very compassionate to you. Uh, we have D'Angelo, you know, and, and compassionate to what you went through. Uh, and we have relationship change. See that? So there is, with this 11, I feel like this is a, a, a good thing. Um, like you're going to be in a relationship. If you are not in one now, there's going to be a relationship change, Scorpios. So you will be in a relationship soon. You will no longer be uh, that single, ready to mingle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, female or male out there. You're going to have somebody like claiming you. Um, and, um, we have D'Angelo here, the line. Yeah. So this person is going to call you on the line. They're going to call you on the phone. Um, yeah, that, that's what I'm picking up. And I just saw pride and let me show you that because this, and, and forgiveness is right underneath that. Ain't that something? That is something else. Wait, where is it? There it is. Pride. So communication and pride were the two words I was chiming on in the, in the beginning of the reading. And then there they are. So let's go ahead. I, I, I just like to expound when things, you know, when they make themselves known, when the cards position themselves a certain way, I feel like that's just spirit saying like, you know, expound, give a little, a little more detail, a little more information, affirmation. And it did it again. Oh my God. And they say, and take these. So these are the ones I'm going to take bottom of the deck nature. So that's that nature nurture. I feel something's going to happen very organically, very naturally. I also feel like some of you all could have been born in the year 74. Some of you could have been born November 11th. I also feel some of you all, maybe you just turned 47. I feel there's something very beautiful about you, natural about you. I feel like a lot of you all are just naturally intuitive. Like you've been intuitive, like I said, since the womb. Like there's just something... That comes to you very naturally. Um, so we have domestic harmony. So you all will be, and I'm hearing you will be walking that 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 line. Like, you know, you and this person will be, you know, um, jumping the broom, walking the line. Like you're going to get married. You're going to be in a partnership in, um, you know, some sort of uh, commitment ceremony. But with this 46 here, definitely I feel like there's something changing for the better. As I said, there's this domestic harmony, you know, or maybe this is what somebody is experiencing that's coming to you. Uh, maybe there's an end to this domestic harmony. Um, I feel like, you know, this person may be, you know, finally making the decision that it's time to, you know, leave this situation behind uh, because somebody could have crossed the line with them. You know, there was once love, but now they're receiving a lot of downloads uh, that they need to express what they need. Because like I said, there's a thin line between love and hate. And maybe somebody now is, you know, trying to start this voyage of healing after some sort of domestic abuse situation or some sort of domestic altercation, you know, or cheating, lying. We have love partnerships. So you will be, I just told y'all, y'all going to be in a marriage. You, you, you definitely... I've manifested this. I, you know, I can't make this up. Y'all was using the full moon and we have, we can be new by Amel LaRoe. So somebody is coming back. Twin flame, soulmate, past life, or an ex, someone from your past. And they want to make this situation new. They want to reconcile. They want to renew it. This person definitely has love. Because when we first picked up this deck, it said love. This person was yearning for your love. This person was, I do love you by GD. And it wasn't playing. Then we had Rihanna. And Rihanna is the sorceress playing. So your person has been manifesting you back because they have passion and desire. There's a longing. There's this attraction. 
this chemistry, this connectivity, this familiarity, this synergy with you and no one else. Why? Because you are a miracle and you deserve the best. They also know that they broke your trust. They want to start again. But this person definitely feels you will make them happy. They feel like they, you, the two of you will have this domestic harmony. You know, wherever they were, they didn't have it. That's why it's the 46. The 46 is 10. That 10 reduces to 1. And that 1 is the ace, the staff. So this is the ace. This is them looking for new stability. But they, they manifest in this shit with you. Because like I said, this is that magic wand. So they trying to manifest this with you. Because they've already come to the conclusion that you're the one. This is why this union is here. You're the one that they want to put this ring on. You know, they want to put that ring on your finger. You know what I'm talking about? And we got a Mel LaRose saying we could be new. So it's like they want to renew. I'm even here for some of y'all, if this is an ex, this person may want to renew your vows. They may want to re renew the vows. Oh, wow. And see, we have music. So they're telling me this music here. Some of you all, you know. You know who this is. And this person uh, definitely, you know, is, is afraid because you have set a boundary, you know. And a lot of you all are also clairaudient. And it's 555 five, five on the clock. 555 five, five reduces to 15. 15 is 6. 6 is the lovers in traditional tarot. And I'm going to show and prove this time because I missed the 444 four, four last time. So you see that 555? Five, five, five? I hope you can see it. So this is definitely somebody who wants to harmonize this relationship. They want to get out of this space where the two of you are not communicating and they want to open up communication, clear the air, apologize even. It's a possibility. Maybe even confess that whoever they left you for, you know, whatever situation they was in, they're going to confess the details. Because remember, we had um, that song that was saying something about um, telling a secret or something. I don't know. It was like something chiming on somebody having something. Oh, story to tell by Notorious B.I.G. Thank you, Spirit. So there was a, they're going to have a story to tell you, but they're afraid, they're apprehensive, but they hear music all the time that reminds them of you telling them, look, call them. 32 reduces the five. That's the throat chakra. Call, express yourself. Stop being a mute. Stop being proud. They're human. They ain't going to bite you. They ain't going to eat you, but they're afraid. So this is a color orange and orange is the sacral. That's about, you know, strength, you know, power. So they need to muster up the strength, courage. And utilize the wisdom to reach out and get out of their head telling themselves what's going to happen before it even does. Because like I said before, words are spells, spells bind. Why are you going to sit there and speak scarcity and lack on yourself opposed to saying we can be new like Amel LaRoe. So maybe this person starts realizing that because you, you've you changed your v frequency and vibration. So they know they're going to have to up the ante to meet you where you are. And we have perseverance here. So this person definitely... Uh, sees that you have persevered, you've had an awakening, you know, you've gone through that dark night of the soul and you've persevered through all the pain and you've healed yourself. You know, this, this is someone who had to, you know, become, you know, emotionally, um, better for themselves. This is all green. So this is about living for yourself, knowing who you are and being sturdy, standing firmly on your square. And you had this epiphany. You know, you had to become that healer. You had to transmute, transmute that pain and turn it into power. You had to change your circumstance. And that's how you did it because you had some sort of a wake up call, you know, and with, we could be new. Maybe this is why this person now is receiving these messages because you've changed your frequency and vibration. And so now they are going into the state where they're like, look, I got to search for myself now because my Scorpio is getting away. So it's like they want to beat this, like they want to match your energy, you know, and this is positive. They want your forgiveness as well. So the divine is telling you they, they're going to ask for your forgiveness and they want you to be forgiving. I forget that card. Oh, it was in this deck. My bad. But they're going to ask for your forgiveness, you know, and the divine wants you to accept it because they do mean it. And with this perseverance, this person admires your strength. You know, they feel like you are, you know, like the yang to the yin. They see your, your worth and value now. If they didn't see it before Scorpios, trust and believe they see it now. And we have um, Mob Deep. This is called the start of your ending. So, yeah, this is, you know, the start of your ending. That's what happened. It was like y'all could have been starting something and it just ended like, a, a, you know, abruptly out of nowhere. And it's because, you know, this person 
was kind of like fighting the situation, fighting their lusts, their temptations. You know what I'm saying? They was very boyish. They was very proud. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, before things could even take off, I feel like it just, it fizzled and died. <laughs> and so now they like, look, they realizing, you know, after the fact, like, damn, Scorpio, uh, I love you, you know, love with you. That shit made me feel content. You know, they remember all the laughter and, you know, all the butterflies they may have felt in your presence, all them tingly feelings, you know what I'm saying? So let's see what we got here. So why is, um, Shaolin Master staff and I love how you love me content here for our beloved Scorpios, Divine Spirit, Love and Light. Oh man, that's a lot of cards. Okay, I'm going to take the one that's faced up. These are all face down, as you can see, and this one is faced up. And I'm going to put those back in. Bang, bang, boogie. So see that? Look, I can't make this shit up. I love how you love me. Karmic completion. This is why they were fighting you because they was attached to somebody else while longing and yearning for you. They was needing to wrap up this cycle. I was picking up on that energy. That's why this domestic harmony was here. I said that 10, they, they are in a relationship that they got to walk away from because it's loveless. They're unhappy. This is why they couldn't come to you the way they wanted to because they still had something else going on. And that's what they was concealing, the fact that they were still in a relationship. That's why the situation ended before it even began. You know what I'm saying? But they had to complete this cycle. They completed this and left. And now they want this new beginning because they love you. They want to come towards you. You know, and this is saying, like, be graceful in movement and action. So now they want to come towards you because this staff is all about action, all about power, strength, courage, resilience, persevering through situations, having new beginnings after the endings. This is the end and this is the new beginning. And they want a new beginning with you and they would be willing to fight for this because now they know who you are to them, what you mean to them. This is a beautiful reading, Scorpios, as always. And you got on the bottom of the deck, 77, spirituality. And I was picking up that you both were very spiritual because we see that they're searching for their soul and they're doing their own um, you know, healing process and they're growing and evolving and they've ascended to a, a master. So that speaks to them doing a lot of spiritual work, soul work. They were also connecting to, you know, their divine ancestors and creating a sacred space so that they can communicate and get receive and um, send out and receive, uh, you know, messages, divine messages, spiritual messages. So this is a very beautiful thing. So I feel like you're coming into a spiritual union. This 77 is like the two of you uh, communicating psychically. I was picking up on telepathic messages. There's two cards referencing communication uh, and being um, intuitive and receiving the messages. And so I feel like that's exactly what's happening and why and how this person has kind of gotten out of and broken free from some sort of domestic situation that was no longer blissed and harmonized. It was very toxic. So it says karmic complete. So they had to release that situation, two tens, before they could come towards you. And I feel like the two of you have a very strong spiritual union, a very strong soul tie to one another. This could be like twin flames, but you are very psychic, very spiritual. And we know that because you are a healer. You're powerful. So you being the spiritual powerhouse that you are, Scorpios, um, is what's opening and awakening, I should say, your person. You're sending them messages telepathically, intuitively. And we have right now, you called and told me playing. And this is by Jeff Red. Why am I cutting the deck? So divine spirit. Oh, okay. Okay. Bottom of the deck change. So something's about to change. I feel the divine is also remember what I said. Change how you're looking at this. Change how you approach it. Because this person will call and they will tell you. Um, maybe y'all received a call from this person and they just kind of ghosted you over the phone like, look, I got to go. And it's because there were some things you didn't know. There was something going on. There was battles they were fighting that they didn't share with you. They didn't open up and they know they didn't reciprocate. They didn't give enough to this connection. But I feel like they want to return to do so. See this completion again. So they had to complete something. But that cycle, they finally, they finalized it. And now they want change with you. You know what I'm saying? They want some sort of change. And it says, you called and told me that you wanted to leave. But it seems 
that you don't want to leave me. And so maybe this is what this person did. They may have literally called your ass and acted like they were not interested. And it's because they were still tied to someone else and they couldn't approach anything or, um, build anything with you and it's because they didn't reveal their full their truth they weren't being their authentic self so they were concealing some really important information and so that's why you felt like you know when you called they asked they wouldn't respond that's the only time somebody would not answer the phone or you would just somebody just ghosting you because there's other people involved don't ever get that twisted nobody's that busy not in 2021 maybe in the 90s you could miss a call and be like yo I was busy because you know you, nobody was really walking around with cell phones like that. You know what I'm saying? We was rocking beepers. I used to have a beeper. But it's like nowadays in 2020, when 2021, when you just look out your car, everybody's face is shoved in the phone. Even when you're at the stoplight, you look at somebody, you look over to the next car, they're in their phone, even whilst driving. So it's like nobody's that busy where they can't pick up their goddamn phone. Not in the middle of a pandemic. There's no way you that busy. So this person you know, in the past may have made it feel like they were uninterested. They may have even went as far as to call you randomly and say a bunch of shit that they truly didn't mean because now behind, you know, in, in hindsight, they looking back and they like, damn, they're yearning for you. They're realizing they love you. They're realizing they want your forgiveness. You know what I'm saying? And it's because, you know, they was trying to close out a karmic relationship and so this completion is the reason why this person wasn't available that's why the divine is like be the peacekeeper because this situation can go further you don't need to be right we know you're right the divine knows you're right that's why you've been in in good standing with the divine the divine has been opening up doors for you and so just trust the divine whatever this person did to you they had to go through 10 times worth um worse process possibly so expect change because change is inevitable, as I said, but I feel like there's going to be a change uh, via communication, via somebody's expression of how they feel. All right. And my throat chakra keeps getting blocked. So this person definitely has difficulty communicating. They don't know how to express themselves. Compassion. The divine wants you to be compassionate. So don't judge them. They're not where you are. You know what I'm saying? Emotionally or maybe even spiritually. You know what I'm saying? They make, they're not where you are. So that's why the divine was like, be a peacekeeper and show compassion because that's non-judgment, you know? And so what we have here is love. See that? When I picked up the deck, this was what's here and look what it ends with. So this person loves you. They have passion for you. And the divine is automatically telling me all of the messages that I got in this reading in pertinence to the times. So we saw 444, um... Um, or four, 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 four. Uh, we saw that 10, 10. Um, we also saw 11, 11. Uh, so we saw a couple of times we saw five, five, five. So for some of you all who may be finding yourselves seeing those number synchronicities, then this message is absolutely undubitably for you. This person that's coming in is coming in grounded, balanced, and aligned. So they're coming in like they got some sense. They're going to get their act right together. And they're also coming in with this passion. You know what I'm saying? With this desire to, to co-create with you, to be with you. It's like whatever magic was, was worked, it's like it's now um, manifesting. It's like you've manifested this love. I feel like somebody literally did a love spell and, and you're manifesting this. And the divine is telling you, like, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities because this is coming straight from the divine. The divine is giving you this. And this person will be very compassionate, empathic. And just as I told you, this is in the incubation state. So that means that, you know, the divine is pruding both of you, preparing both of you. And as we see, your person's wrapping up a cycle. So this is coming in very quickly. You know what I'm saying? Because now they're ready to implement the change because they done completed this relationship. And they're just going to work on healing themselves and getting back into alignment and back into harmony. This person definitely is oh wow look what's playing i can't make this shit up i'm gonna I'm bump this for a second 
that be down for whatever. There's a few things. That's fine. All this is Mary J. Blige. Um, this is Method Man featuring Mary J. Blige. You're all I need. Now, if that is not like the anthem for lovers, you know, like for divine feminine and masculine, or just you know, two two people that love one another, like, look, I, I'm there for you. I got you. You all I need. That I don't know what is, but this person's definitely. They know you're all they need, and they know this love is all they want. You know what I'm saying? It's all they, I should say, it's what they, yeah, it's what they want. It's what they desire. This is beautiful. See that? This person had to go through that personal growth. You know what I'm saying? That completion led to them doing some internal work. And they followed their intuition. They also followed, um, you know, used discernment. You know what I'm saying? Because this personal growth literally is why we had that song, um, Searching for My Soul. And this is why they're going into Embark. You know, on this brand new beginning, which is why the staff is here. You know, they've completed that karmic cycle, that lesson. And now they know all, you know, you're all that they need right now, Scorpios. This is beautiful. So let's go ahead and get some tarot card messages. And then we're going to wrap it up. So on the split, what do we have? Death card, like I said, and then the Knight of Pentacles. So this person has been taking their time, working their way back to you. Because they was going through a death of a relationship, like I said, you know, ending a cycle, releasing somebody, um, and also healing. See this? This is that yearning. This is that feeling of yearning, feeling like you missed an opportunity, you know, kind of ruminating, pining, overthinking, four pentacles, but they were holding on the whole time. Holding on to this connection, holding on to the love they felt with you. That's why they felt content. See this? The chariot. They rushing towards you, baby. I was picking up Cancerian energy. I was mentioning the crab. And so I feel like this chariot, they're going to drive. Maybe this distance, like I said, they're going to travel to see you. Somebody got to travel to come see you. They may shock you, surprise you, call you. I got a story to tell. So here we go on the bottom of the deck. And this is the page of chalices. You're going to receive a message. And this is like new love coming in, baby. This is new love. This is the development of a new love partnership, a new love connection. This is somebody expressing their love, expressing that you're all they need. And the Ten of Pentacles, see that? This is somebody who sees this with you. This is what this is. Domestic harmony, you know? And it's because two people had to go through their dark night of the soul process, separate of one another, only to come back into union. And you all may birth a child because we do have that incubation card that was there and incubation is all about you know you know a child in the womb but on this card in particular it's like a man's body so this is what your person has been doing they've been going through you know their healing process growing maturing and awakening from you know whatever uh false belief systems ideologies behaviors patterns uh bad habits you know what i'm saying but this ten of pentacles this is the epitome of emotional financial fulfillment building a legacy this is happy house happy spouse this is all of the aforementioned domestic harmony having a partner having a solid relationship and connection with someone this is someone that will invest in you, collaborate with you, but someone who will also be willing to compromise because they realize you're all they need. This is what's coming in. Happy house, happy spouse. Love partnership. Why? Because you had the power to manifest that shit, Scorpios. You ask, you receive. <laughs> you seek, you find. That's the laws of, you know, that's the ways it works. And you also utilize that, that moon magic. You know what I'm saying? To do your little candle magic. Full moons. You know? Full, you know, the moon phases. So divine spirit, okay. They picked it for me. Seven of wands. And I'm hearing, I'll be working my way back to you, babe. That's what he's doing. He's like, I don't give a fuck if I got to, like, jump hurdles to get back to you. I'm going to do whatever it takes. He's jumping in the middle of the ocean or the river or the lake or the pond on these little planks to get back to you know, what makes them feel grounded, balanced, and aligned because they realize like Method Man and Mary J. Blige said, you're all that they need. You know what I'm saying? You're all that they need. And so we have right now Tosh Sultana, and this is called Synergy. So this person feels that connectivity, that synergy, that chemistry, that energy from you that makes them know. There's a knowing here. That's why I was picking up earlier, like, yo, don't be hoping and wishing and well i sure do you know what i'm saying like nah you you gotta know there has to be a knowing this is a knowing 
You know, she knows she gonna get what she wants. She knows she's manifesting that love partnership. She ain't hoping to, and this and, and it's developing. It's here because we just saw the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands. He's coming back. He's turning around the clock. The you know the time, turning around the the, the time here. So look at this world. This person thinks the world of you, and that's why, you know, and they also had to go through that completion. But you have things, you know, this this is like coming full circle, and, and somebody is fully aware. Look at this eye watching. You know, that eye watching definitely tells me that you had your first eye open the entire time as this witch. You know, but I also feel with the world that speaks to your growth, your ascension, and your self-mastery, you know, the power that you possess is because of all the trials and tribulations you had to encounter in, you know, conquering the world. This also could speak to this person being at a distance or being of a different ethnic background, race, demographic, whatever. This person definitely is at a distance and they watch you, you know, even if it's on the world wide web, you know, I feel like this person watches you, spies on you, and they're enchanted by you. This person definitely is feeling, you see that? I feel this distance. The six of wands, they want victory. You know, they want to come towards you. They want to move towards you, but they are fearing rejection, but they have to get out of their head, which they do because we do see here in the bottom of the deck, the seven of wands, they're going to get out of that space of, you know, um, fearing rejection and they're going to take action because they see nothing but the victory with you. They know you're all they need. And I do feel with all the, this boat here, there is distance. They may hear songs that make them think of you constantly. And it's telling them, call her. It's telling them, y'all got a dope connection. The name of this song is called Synergy. So they can't deny. And my throat is getting choked. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Hold on one moment. Let me get some water. This person can't. Oh my God. They are literally like, what is wrong with them? They cannot communicate. <clears throat> damn, I damn near choked. <laughs> Talking about this person. They literally have communication issues, Scorpio. Like, this is not to be played with. Like, I'm not, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, with this 32, the music is even screaming at them to communicate confirmation by the train. They can't deny the synergy and the connection y'all feel. And they need to get rid of whoever they got around them. That's why the divine was like, surround yourself with um, protection, uh, protective energy, because maybe they have somebody that's working against them doing candle magic to separate the two of you or separation magic or bam, um, what do you call that? Um, um, I don't know. Just trying to kind of separate the two of you, but I feel like they had that aha, that epiphany and they knew, they knew that it was a uh, time to cut themselves free from that toxic shit. But they are fearing rejection, you know, strongly because they, I just feel like it's because they know they was wrong, but they do see a victory. They see marriage in the future. The six of wands is like celebratory, you know, success and happiness. See this, they're trying to manifest you. You know, they're literally trying to manifest you. And I feel like you're picking up on the energy because the two of you, you know, as we saw are magis, you know, he, they have reached that level of self mastery as well. So they're also fully aware of how to manifest. And I feel like you're receiving these messages. That's why the divine is like, look, uh, wait for important information because it's almost like they sending you that bat signal and look at the moon right behind this person again. And I was picking up on this energy, you know, with the moon there, it says, take note of intuitive messages. So they are communicating to you either telepathically, intuitively, um, or even clairaudiently because this music card is um, was here as well. You know what I'm saying? But they are trying to manifest you back, you know? And I feel like it's because they have awakened, you know? And they have awakened because, you know, by you healing yourself, persevering through your pain and learning to love you unapologetically, now you've awakened them and they want your forgiveness because now they could see clearly what the hell they was doing to sabotage this relationship. And so we have um, Eddie Kendricks. This is called My People Hold On. So this person wants you to hold on for them. They don't want you to give up because you do have your guard up. You could have been running from this connection, as I said. You put up a guard, put up a boundary. Like you, you the, People got to go through leaps and bounds to reach you because you are not like with the shits. You're like, no, your favorite word is no now. So look at the strength. What did I say? This person is trying to muster up the strength, but they've also built... 
this, this endurance, you know, this, this ability to, um, to, you know, to reach a place of self mastery. They had to muster up the strength and take their power back from a situation that had them feeling powerless. Um, and I also feel like, you know, this is why they're now, you know, embarking on this brand new beginning. Um, because this karmic definitely was, uh, very controlling, overbearing, um, but they've learned, you know, that what love is and what love, where love lives is with Scorpio. So this person had to fight to get to you, to you, Scorpios. You know what I'm saying? It required a lot of strength. You know what I'm saying? A lot of self-respect, you know, just, just not going along to get along, just to appease, you know, maybe even family members or friends, you know, because whoever they was around, you know, is obviously not, you know, positive folks because the divine is literally saying like surround yourself with pos around positive um, energy um, and look at this the queen of pentacles they definitely see you as the divine feminine as the yang to their yin yin to their yang first we saw the knight of pentacles now we see the queen of pentacles so they definitely see you as a very beautiful loving soul nurturing and very caring a natural born healer very self-sufficient independent this is like pre-empress status and they didn't give to you because they was in a whole full-on relationship. Maybe this is their wife or their uh, partner that they were in a relationship with that they didn't tell you about. And this is why, you know, they was hiding. They appeared to be, you know, like not interested because they wasn't reciprocating or responding to your, um, you know, to your, uh, how do you say that? They weren't responding to your, to you being, showing interest. They concealed a lot from you. They didn't tell you things. And so, yeah, with this peacekeeper, maybe they was in that household trying to be the peacekeeper, trying to, you know, not be right, being a mute. And that's probably their voice. They lost their voice in this relationship, which is why they have difficulty communicating. It just came to me. Thank you, spirit. They, they, they too have difficulty um, because they was trying to keep the peace, but in keeping the peace, and not wanting to, you know, have, because they, they're not confrontational. I feel like they don't like confrontation. And so in the midst of that, by them not expressing what they feel uh, in those moments, they just kind of go quiet. And then they just turn numb. And then they just start, you know, just accepting shit and people pleasing and appeasing and shit. And so this is what the concealment is. They was hiding who they were. They was hiding from themselves. It's like they started questioning themselves. Like, who the fuck am I? Who am I? You know what I'm saying? And with my people hold on. So it's like they want, you know, this person wants you to hold on to them, even though they kind of let you go. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they're now having that aha moment. There's nine, you know, that's the highest number of change. And this is a purple card. So I do feel strongly like they're having some sort of very um, profound downloads in regards to their actions, the way that they treated you or mistreated you. And, you know, that's why they're walking away because now they have to be their authentic selves. You know, that's what they're interested in now. And what we have here is the emperor. So that emperor is coming in for their, their empress. They're coming in for you, hot and heavy. You know what I'm saying? Because they love you. They, they you know what I'm saying? They want to hold on to this connection. They see you as the yang to their yin, yin to their yang. They see you as their divine partner, spiritual union. They feel the two of you would have domestic harmony. They speak your love language. They're going to be affectionate and attentive. I feel like many of my Scorpios manifested this person. Absolutely. And there goes the ram um, horns that I was talking about. So remember that power that I was saying they had to, um, it was um, pain or fear. It was about fear. So it's like, I feel like they now are no longer afraid because the emperor goes after what they want. So whoever that was, where it was like, be the hunter, you know what I'm saying? Now they're going to come after you because now they are in their divine masculine energy, divine feminine energy. So divine spirit of love and light. And this is a person that has a lot of passion. This is somebody that has been holding on to you. So divine spirit, why is passion, uh, magic, love, grounded, balance, and aligned? And angel numbers here. Bottom of the deck, the Knight of Wands. So this is a lot of excitement. And so we have the moon. And then we have hanged man. See that? <clears throat> so this is what they've been doing. Not taking action. Up in their head. Sending you messages telepathically. But they have deep feeling. This is a hanged man that's in the water. And we all know the water is, you know, the moon reflects on the water. So there's a lot that's hidden. 
but what's hidden is what's going on in this person's mind, which is why they're, they're kind of like just floating around in the ocean because it's like, they're not expressing all this stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? And intuitively you're picking up on it because, well, God damn it, you are powerful. You're highly intuitive. You're a whole sage out here. So it's like whatever they was trying to hide before, they can't do that anymore because you know, you know, without knowing Scorpios, your person is coming. You can feel them right now. They're not taking action because they're still trying to sort through situations. They're trying to literally like they're looking, they're being forced to look at things from a different perspective. All the lies they told being deceptive and there is distance. There goes this moon. I mean, this boat again. So it's like this, this you abandoned ship, you know, maybe you, they, you felt abandoned by them. And so now they're having to like, you know, eat that. They having to sit there and assess. Um, this person may chief we um, a lot of herbs because we have one spliff a day. I do feel like there's a lot of intuitive messages being sent. A lot of messages. They're like literally communicating with you. And we do see that here with angel numbers. So even if it's like you see in number synchronicities or maybe you're hearing certain songs, um, like I said, that reminds them of you. And they're sending you these messages to let you know they love you. And to hold on, be strong like that song. Um, um, to hold on by Eddie Kendricks, my people hold on. They want you to hold on because they're sorting through and clearing up, you know, whatever this situation is, whatever this karmic situation was that they was trapped in. Cause I feel like they were trapped. Um, and which is why they could be, you know, very defensive in this defensive position here, you know, cause they learned like, you know, the people that they trusted, the people they were around definitely were like snakes. And so now they're having this ha aha moment, you know, a little epiphany here, you know, maybe something's coming to light, some, some truths, something has come to, to light about the situation, you know, uh, and now they're like really reflecting back on the past. But, um, I do feel like they will eventually work their way to you because they have just completed this cycle. Um, and now they're just going to have to go through the healing process. I don't know what the time frame is, so I ain't even going to lie to you like that, but I do feel like they are coming. And when you two come into union, this leads to marriage. There's no denying that. I can say that like whoever you get with next, whatever this person, whenever this person decides to come in, they're going to be just as invested in a long-term commitment as you. There's, you're not going to be, um, you know, alone in that regard. They're going to want the same things, have the same interests. They're going to have the same um, values. Uh, they're going to have the same uh, spiritual belief systems or, you know, maybe even if it's not the same, the two of you will respect one another's spirituality. Um, I feel like you're going to definitely be like a, a power couple. I feel strongly like a spiritual power couple. So this person that's coming in is like literally like a magi, um, like a wizard, um, and I feel a healer, a Reiki healer, a yogi, like this person is like, a, you know, maybe even a sensei, um, uh, into karate, a Tai Chi master, uh, you know, whatever, jujitsu. Ju um, but this is somebody who is a master and they're going to help you. Um, especially, you know, in terms of, you know, physically, you know, getting in fit, you know, getting fit and just kind of like, um, learning more discipline, uh, even if it's in regards to your, your diets, um, your eating habits, I should say, I hate the word diets, uh, but in terms of your eating habits and I don't hate it, I dislike it, but, um, I don't care for it, <laughs> but yeah, you know, they're going to come in and they're going to be like a positive influence. Um, but I feel this is a spiritual union. Y'all got nothing but spiritual union, um, coming in. This person has a lot of love. There was a lot of hinting whenever I was speaking on this person's energy, all the songs that could possibly play about love played. And so this person, and this ain't no love playlist. This is definitely not that this is this playlist. I named it Ascension. So all the songs that it could find pertaining to love is playing. And that's because, well, message, <laughs> but I love you Scorpio. Sorry for screaming in your ears. I love you. Um, Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. If you are new, I hope you uh, found that the messages resonate. If they have, please stay a while. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are returning, beloveds, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I do want to say thank you to someone really quick who sent me a beautiful cash app gift. My sister, my soul sister, Kiera Williams. You are appreciated, my love. I thank you so much for being thoughtful, for being kind, and for just rotating the love. 
and I appreciate it and I send it on back to you. That will be rotated back to you tenfold. All right. You heard it from me. You're going to get that infinitely. Matter of fact. Um, but I thank you all. I will that you all enjoy the rest of your holy days. Enjoy your family. Stay protected. Continue to work on yourself because as you work on yourself, you send out and trigger and, you know, activate your person to continue their work. But I love you all. Peace.